Loki is that there is a crabmon and uh -huh. there's an Ibidramon who is a lobster, but and there's a Shakomon which is a clam, but like we don't have scallops, we don't have I don't know, uh what's another good crustacean that lives on the Nautilus? The Nautilus? Well the Nautilus is that really a crustacean? It's more of a mollusk, I'm wrong. You're yeah. right. Barnacle. Uh, I don't that's think it's a, a crustacean mollusk. either. It's a no, that's a barnacles. Mollusk. No, barnacles are crustaceans. They're not. Oh wait, they're you're right. Mollusks. They are. They are. are they, they are. Really? They are. They are. Yeah. They're also very horrifying. Barnacles they are, are disgusting. crustaceans. Yeah. yeah, they're not mollusks. That's like I learned that, and I was like, whoa. And that's my cool fun fact. I like to whip out at parties. Is that barnacles aren't mollusks? <laughs> <laughs> we go to the talk is, when the talk is really slow. <laughs> just bust yeah. out the the barnacles are crustaceans chat yeah it, it's just like when they funny spit at you <laughs> that's right they spit oh. like they'll spit their water excess water they go <laughs> <laughs> oh okay hello friends welcome to the unexpectable <laughs> yeah we're here da -da -da. every episode starts with that wacky wild conversation that just leads to a, a pregnant pause that has to be broken up with <laughs> anyway pregnant anyway pause? welcome to our show that you come to watch and not our weird podcast about crabs crabs kratos cereal and the <laughs> first little coin, toast made of crabs. Dating back to the seventh century the beginning of the sixth century bc Shut for the several decades the metal about award of the, the nobel prize the most gold gold gold. i swear to god i'm too sick for this bullshit <laughs> I'm the only one that hasn't been a dick tonight, apparently. You've been sassy, though. I've been a huge though. dick today. You check out my You've been passive aggressive. Money, how have I been sassy? You've been passive aggressive. You've been like, oh, I guess no one's getting you. heals today. How? I'm not healing anybody today because <laughs> That's are... because y'all been jerks to me before we got started with this. And you have Why? responded with sass. <laughs> Except for Zito. Thank Zito's you. Zito's been good. Fuck. <laughs> <laughs> Jesus Christ, why am I always the one? Why am I the scapegoat most of the time? It's, it's fine, y'all. While while Gaijin is healing only Zito, I'll heal everyone else. It's fine. Yeah, it's a shitty Thanks. druid healing. There's the wow. sass. I was not Ooh, lying. Ooh, the there sass was real there, though. <laughs> so much for being cousins. <laughs> but hey, I like oh, a joke. No. <laughs> Joke's over. Comedy See, is dead. See, the joke is, is that I play a druid multiple times. So, yeah. I see. Oh my god, real meta. Holy crap. We should probably get going. Uh, we'll get to that, yeah. Let's do uh, it. Let's go around the horn. Gaijin, where can we find you? And what are you up to? Uh, being pissed at you for making fun of me on Twitter, you dick. No, not really. <laughs> uh, <laughs> insights? <laughs> I'm, gonna just, I'm just gonna progressively <laughs> say, I'm gonna just progressively say it's stupider and stupider every single time I say it now. Excellent. Insight! Okay, until, anyway. it, until it no longer sounds like the word it was supposed to be. <laughs> A monocle just permanently attaches itself to your eye. It'll join All the right. legs of 21. All right, so I'm working on a nice big chunky witch samurai video for the OG Usagi Ojimbo, right? Because it's about time. Uh, I thought that was going to be out this weekend because I thought it would only be about 10 minutes long. It is 25 minutes long, which means I've got at least 25 hours of editing to do. So it's probably going to be closer to mid next week before that gets done. But I am working on it, and it's fucking phenomenal i'm having a blast with this if you've ever liked usagi ojimbo or god the ninja turtles for that matter you will like this mm. i love um, usagi ojimbo i used to read the comics when i was younger oh I, I i've got a 25 minute video on the first three issues of a 146 issue series so it's gonna be fun uh aside from that i've actually been playing valkyria chronicles 4 and I hated it first, but then when I realized that it was like two thirds uh, of, of a uh, visual novel, I, I came to like it because at least it wasn't about dumbass relationships. Uh, it's actually a half decent war story, if a little bit shonen. Um, Zorin the Bear is in it. I don't know if it was purposeful or not, but you, you know how Zorin's got like his human form and it's like long blonde hair and then it'll have like a bearism about him. Yeah. That's what this character has. I tweeted it earlier, and it just blew my mind when I saw it. So that's fun. Um, Shout out to Zorin. He's an absolute <laughs> Hell fan. yeah. Uh, but cool coming up, uh, as soon as Wild Hearts drops next month, I will be all over that for a good couple of streams and videos. 
Uh, and I know that there is a Mech Warrior 5 DLC pack coming out like next week, and I will be all over that because it's Roggle House. So, yeah, it's going to be good. Uh, other than that, I'm just going to be up to my weep shit like I normally am. So, yeah, that's me. Right on. We've got Mark Allen Jr. We're going to find you, and what are you up to? You can find me on Twitter.com at Mark Allen Jr., here on Twitch at Aeon Pro Tech Gaming. And you can follow the adventures of my fat sleepy cat bunny on Instagram at Chonk for Life. Sorry, I got <clears throat> stuff in my throat today. Um, yeah, um, over the past week, I announced a whole bunch of stuff that I was behind on announcing. Uh, major apologies to everyone whose timeline got flooded by, I was in this and I was in that. Um, but it's uh, it's probably going to happen again uh, soon-ish. Uh, I've been busy, uh, so I've got some announcements in the near future. Uh, some maybe as soon as this weekend. Uh, we shall see. Um, it's going to be a good time. Follow me on Twitter. That's where all my updates will be. Updates even, if I can learn how to speak. Um, we should have a Digimon stream on Friday, hopefully. Um, I, I wanted to do it tomorrow, and I've gotten too busy to do it. Um, we'll have to see. I don't know. Things are kind of up in the air right now because my schedule is getting complicated. So, um, yeah, we'll see. Follow Twitter. That's where I'm going to post all the announcements. That's the easiest way to get all my updates. That's it for me. Right on. Zito, where can they find you and what are you up to? <clears throat> find me at twitch.tv slash Zito, where uh, a bunch of indie games are finally coming out that I'm excited to play. Like, Frame Makers literally comes out tonight. Uh, Pizza Tower comes out in like four, maybe three days. Oh, God. Oh, shit. And mm. apparently, uh, so, Monty, I know you're uh, uh, quite a fan of a certain indie developed game by this, some unknown company called Capcom called Resident Evil. Mm. <laughs> so, <laughs> yes. what, 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 if, what if Resident Evil but underwater? Oh, is that the one with like the octopus and stuff? Death in talking? the Water 2 looks yeah. fucking dope fuck as that. shit. Isn't that just fuck summer? that? <laughs> yeah, give Thalassophobia, have fun with that one. I am, I want to play the fuck out of it. I can't it wait to cool. scream. I can't do it. <laughs> I, I, I fucking absolutely must get in on this. As someone who has played Ocean Hunter for the fucking arcade, I have to play this game. Uh,. Beyond that, uh, you'll catch me doing a bunch of mods. I've been making fake mod for shits and giggles, and apparently people are into it that I'm just going to continue doing it. Uh, I made... I kind of let me do it for you. I made... I made, I made a red panda that's also a samurai. That's all right. Ah! <laughs> also, D&D stuff... Uh, the train does not stop. I will continue to be making more D&D uh, &D content. Uh, the one that it will be the bane of Monty's existence will be out sometime soon. The only thing left on it is lore. However, if you want to check out the new stuff I just made, it's incredibly late because of life problems, but uh, I do have three more uh, races that I made that are based off of some funny uh, horror genre stuff that so if you like that kind of nonsense you want to be a mummy you want to be a cosmic horror you, you want to be a pumpkin sure fuck it why not you could have it i'll post a link right here go get it. it's only five dollars oh uh, yeah uh i'm next we got edward bosco where can they find you and what are you up to you can find me at Ed Bosco VA on both Instagram and Twitter and right here on twitch.tv slash Edward Bosco. Who are you? Can you say Sunday, Sunday, Sunday? Sunday, Sunday, Sunday. Sunday. All right. And we've got Monty. Where can they find you? What are you up to? I'm coughing and sneezing. Uh, you can I, find me... I... Yep, I was, I thumbs, was there. Thumbs up. Uh, you can find me at Monty Glue on Twitter. You can find me at twitch.tv forward slash Monty Glue. Tomorrow it should be more done to the Mad Mage. And then hopefully back to Mass Effect on Mondays. Um, I will be uploading Mass Effect in the coming week. I'm very sorry for the delay in upload. There's a reason for that, but we'll get into that in a little bit. Um, beyond that, that that is basically kind of it for me. It's just Mondays and Thursdays are my streaming days. Thumbs up. Yeah. 
Right on. Uh, and then they can find me on Twitter, Twitch, and YouTube.com slash Distortion Devil. Stream Tuesdays, Fridays, Saturdays, and Sundays. Uh, been, uh, I, I picked up Deus Ex, the, the original one. And we, that, uh, was an interesting time on Sunday. Uh, in, in, in some gay, in, in some gays, some days, some ways. Hang on. My brain is full of hurt. In, in some ways. Yeah, berserker. <laughs> Uh, in, in some ways that game has aged poorly in others it has aged beautifully and uh, I can't wait to play more uh, yeah that's really all I've got going on right now uh, yes our wonderful sponsor for this evening's escapades is as always Die Hard Dice Die Hard Dice I that's right. Die Hard Dice, your one-stop shop for dice and dice accessories. And if you head on over to dieharddice.com, you can use the code UNEXPECTABLES at checkout to save 10%. Whoa. Some of that money gets thrown right back at us so we can keep making this show for you. Thank Even you, Todd. you, random citizen. Todd. Uh, yeah, he's of... a rep. Ooh. Yeah. Yeah, it's what wait, which which dagger got destroyed? Spoiler. Nick. It was Nick, right? <laughs> Nick. I'm glad that Todd I'm glad that Todd has found a new outlet after such a substantial loss. <laughs> he found somewhere to put his energy. Yeah. Did you just uh, did, Okay, never mind. Did I forget which one went? No, yeah, I threw no. it in. Did you just put a spoiler warning for my fucking knife? <laughs> <laughs> Spoiler, I don't want to use it, and I don't care. Here's a spoiler: knives cut things. Whoa! Knives, knives die when they are killed. <laughs> knives. <laughs> speaking speaking of knives, cut into a uh, cut into a d20 with dire dice. They sell all manner of dice, including dice trades, which are really great, by the way. I, I feel like yeah. we don't talk about the dice trades enough, but the dice trades are really, really nice. I've got two of them. I want to get another one. I want one for, like, for playing Unexpectables, and I want one for my, my local games, which I can always just flatten this one out and bring it with me, but it is so storable in a binder that it's, like, kind of easy to forget in my binder because it just fits perfectly in there. Indeed. Hold, hold uh, on. Someone speaking... is yelling at me. I'm sorry. Someone just yelled at me in chat like, Zito, spoilers. I'm sorry. The Bronze Age was 4,000 years ago. <laughs> I can't believe you spoiled the first fall of the Byzantine Empire. <laughs> <laughs> speaking of the falling of empires, I believe we had an announcement to make. Bosco, if you wouldn't mind. Damn. Yeah, we're going to do that one first? Yeah. Let's um, do that one first. Sure. So I'm sure a lot of you, since we've been off for the last week, have been following the recent developments with D&D &D and the whole OGL situation. So we have an official statement that we want to say here tonight just to avoid everybody asking questions and putting it off forever. So I am going to go ahead and read that right now. <clears throat> With the recent revelations about potential changes to the OGL, we at The Unexpectable share the concerns of the tabletop community at large regarding the future of fan content in Dungeons and Dragons. Our shows, and many like it, are rooted in original content and open spirit of creativity that helps create the enthralling and expansive worlds they take place in. As of this moment, no official changes have taken place, and thus we are waiting to see what Wizards of the Coast decide to do after seeing the reaction to their proposed terms. We have discussed potential plans if and when such changes occur up to and including a change in systems. For now, as we continue our regular lineup of shows, we hope Wizards of the Coast listens to their community and allows for the content creation that fuels so many of our games. So that's kind of where we all stand. We all took a look at this and came up with this together. Mm -hmm. So for those of you that were curious about where we stand, that is kind of it. I know I saw one question in the chat about where you can go to support people that are putting out original content. I will yield to someone like Zito on that, but to my knowledge, nothing has changed yet. So DMs Guild and all the places you would normally support that, Zito, correct me if I'm wrong, they can still support you guys on those platforms for the time yes. being. 
uh, okay. for, for people who have made stuff for DM's Guild, uh, there is no worry as because nothing has officially changed as of yet. And they also have stated in one of their statements earlier today, uh, posting and uh, putting stuff up on DM's Guild, uh, nothing has changed. Nothing has changed in their contract. Nothing has changed in their wording. So everything is staying the course, as it were, if you sell things on DM's Guild. Okay. Yep. So that's that's that announcement. So with that out of the way, there is another announcement that is yes. slightly mixed news that I'm going to let Monty take care of. So, um, as everyone was probably aware that we did not have an episode last week, unfortunately, due to an emergency situation, I had to basically in uh, less than 24 hours go to Vancouver with Draco. For those of you who don't know, Draco is a very close friend of mine um, and their husband, Har uh, Artsy Hartsy, who you may know as our editor for our lovely slideshow that you see right now, that is Artsy Hartsy's department. Uh, as well as our YouTube uploads, um, unfortunately suffered a uh, pretty serious heart attack at a very young age, uh, and he had to be airlifted to hospital. Um, so we obviously, the slideshow cannot be updated until such time as he is recovered, but more importantly, he needs to recover. Um, so for our lovely fan artists, we would love to we can try and find a workaround if necessary, but um, obviously the priority right now is, is Heartsy does need to recover. Um, if anybody would like to help out, uh, there is a GoFundMe. It is fully funded, but we still don't know how long they're going to need to remain in Vancouver and hotels cost money and traveling costs money and food costs money. Uh, as well as they also need to probably cover medications as well. Um, luckily, the you know Canadian healthcare system does help cover most things, but not everything. So um, thank you, everyone, everyone, so much. If you intend to give us bits tonight, maybe instead, you know, put it that way. We'd really appreciate that because Hartsy's mm -hmm. been an incredibly hard worker. He's a very, very nice guy. And um, yeah, it's been rough for the two of them, for Draco and Heartsey, and they're my really close friends, and I don't like, you know, they don't deserve this at all. Um, so thank you again, and thank you guys so much for your patience and understanding with the lack of an episode last week, as well as these, you know, the uploads being a little bit more delayed than usual. Um, but hopefully, you know, if you guys want to, Heartsey has a, a Twitter if you want to just, you know, send a message of encouragement, tell them to get well soon and feel good. And then all that stuff, that would be greatly appreciated. If you're an artist, um, he does have like a character that he has like a dragon. Um, you know, if you guys want to draw that character, that'd be great. I, I, that's, you know, whatever you can spare, I'd very much appreciate it. Thank you so much. All righty. Uh, I am going to, uh, speed read through these bits because we've gotten quite a few of uh, mm -hmm. bits and yeah. subs. Thank you all so much. Mm -hmm. A couple of really big ones as well. I might I might stop to read like the the really big ones. Uh, but yeah, uh, starting with uh, Ex Machinus. Thank you for the 24 months of Prime subage. The Citric King. Thank you for giving the tier one sub to Gaijin Jumba. Skench the Noble Barbarian. Thank you for the 34 months. Uh, Oathbreaker John. Thank you for the 34 months. Razor Brownie. Thank you for the 26 months. K Macmon, thank you for the 29 months. Uh, Resmu5, thank you for the 11,535 uh, Wow. Thank you. Uh, Christ. Yeah, I was thinking about getting into the Age of Sigmar and looking at the Undead Alliance. I've never done anything of this style of game before. I was wondering what would be the best unit to start out with. Whatever looks coolest. Uh, yeah. Yes. I.e. vampires. That, that is uh, complete, completely subjective. <laughs> Shine Greymon, thank you for the 32 months. Yo, Shine Greymon? Uh, yeah. Oh. The Ball Guy, thank you for the 23 months. <laughs> Resmu5, thank you for the 34 months. Game and Anime, thank you for the 15 months. Zenlita, thank you for the 33 months. Uh, Death Hawk Down, thank you for the 11 months. Callum Draws, thank you for the 20 bits. Mikan Pachi, thank you for the 100 bits. H Lone Heart, thank you for the 34 months. Cup of Squid, thank you for the 28 months of Prime. Tommy Toon, 88, thank you for the 10 months. Real Meta, thank you for the 19 months. 
Draco Choji, thank you for the 34 months. Mad Monk Montague, thank you for the 24 months. Gin no Kaze, thank you for the 34 months. Twisted Helix, thank you for the 26 months. Bubba Bob, thank you for the 10,000 bits. Mm -hmm. Can't watch tonight yeah. as one of my D&D &D games got rescheduled. Here's my bits. <clears throat> I'll catch you in the VODs. Dragosun, thank you for the 210 bits. Vonavon, thank you for the uh, 32 months. Daspoonman, thank you for the <laughs> 26 months. Real Meta, thank you for the 20 gifted subs to the community. Wow. Thank you so much. Lots of generosity flying around tonight. Vale606, thank you for the three months. Warfay, thank you for the 34 months. Crow the Immortal, thank you for the 34 months. The Atom Bomb, thank you for the 150 bits. Like Tabuya 123, thank you for the uh, 34 months. Sergeant Tucker, thank you for the 100 bits. Callum Draws, thank you for the 33 months. Blemish, thank you for the 13 months. Zenlita, thank you for the 100 bits. Glorkshnak, Eater of Children, thank you for the 500 bits. <laughs> Real Meta, thank you for the 10,000 bits. Did you oh really think Lord. I would just stop after just subs? Hmm? Oh God. I don't know. Who am I to doubt your power? I'm sorry. I feel like oh we're God, being they just, threatened. They, they just keep coming. Oh, my God. Ox Factor, thank you for the 26 months of Prime. Zach Oduo, thank you for the 34 months. ATLA Gamer, thank you for the 34 months. Fresh Thawed Neanderthal, thank you for the 34 <laughs> months. <laughs> Boy, am I glad that he's frozen in there and that we're out here and that he's, he's just there. there. Frozen in there. <laughs> Zebza Beezabeel, thank you for the 32 months. The Talbs, thank you for the 34 months at tier two. Jay Brant, thank you for the 500 bits. Gorn ZX, thank you for the 100 bits. One Sweet Girl, thank you for the 100 bits. Pixel Belladonna, thank you for the 19 months. The Winged One, thank you for the 34 months. That Skelebro, thank you for the 35 bits. Sailor's Shadow, thank you for the 45 bits. X Wily Willy, thank you for the 34 months. John Grimm, thank you for the 1,000 bits. Just Neelan, thank you for the 34 months. Drago Soon, thank you for the 300 bits. Insert any sound effect, thank you for the 9 bits. Oh my god, that's... Uh, <laughs> I fought every instinct in my body to reverb fart there, but uh... <laughs> I have a gun and it's loaded. <laughs> oh. Yeah, you don't. Here, hold on, Connor, Connor, hold on, I got you. Okay. Your fart sounded a little Excellent ducky. work. Thanks for covering me. <laughs> was any sound effect? There you go. Smooth Enigma, thank you for the 17 months of Prime. More Thrandor, thank you for the 100 bits. Resmu5, thank you for the 100 bits. Antilaris, thank you for the 21 months of Prime Savage. Uh, Mr. Insecure, thank you for the 34 months. Solar Fire, thank you for the 3 bits. Uh, Testarasa Dragon, thank you for the 31 months. The Chair of Folding, thank you for the 100 <laughs> bits. River Rat, thank you for the 300 bits. Impact Frame, thank you for the 31 months. Kobold with a big gun, thank you for the 34 months. Miss Tweedums, thank you for getting a tier one sub to Pop Tart Depression. Yeah! Blackfoot Ferret, thank you for the elite bits. Moz, thank you for the 200 bits. B52 makes a silent night, thank you for the 15,000 bits. Uh. No message, just bits, but thank you so much. Uh, Protoss103, thank you for the five bits. Vince Babaganoush, thank you for the 11 months of Prime Savage. <laughs> right you are, Ken. Divine Devil, thank you for the 32 months. Mikan Pachi, thank you for the 100 bits. Resmu5, thank you for the combined 50 gifted subs to the community. Wow. Uh, Anonymous, thank you for getting a tier one sub to Noots and Sean Helfen and Sakido. Thank you for the 16 months. <gasps> you did it! I did it! And you lived. Or did I? <gasps> Hi, Vsauce Michael here. Did you know that your fingers have bones in them? Are we good to go? Yeah. 
All right. Well, is everybody for a world of wonder like no other? We're going to go amazing. Let's take it away. Bye chat. When last we left our adventurers, Gaius Agni, Otho Valentinius, Kai Valentinius, Milo Brightbeam, and Iskan Seatlolly, the party has returned to the desolate, undead landscape of Eastonvale. After retrieving an orb of Necrecta from Martorallo, the party intends to convert the orb over to a bead of Hoketh with Lynn's help. Heading northward, the party was ambushed by maggot birds and dispatched them narrowly escaping unscathed. But now, with an eerie feeling of being watched and the heavy atmosphere of Eastonvale's curse wedged heavily on their shoulders, the unexpectables forge ahead into the bleak unknown. So, <sighs> as you all flee the battlefields, what do you do? First of all, is there any place with any kind of cover? You are currently in like a small glade, like a forest. So there is plenty of cover here. More important question, is <clears throat> Otho still poisoned? Yeah. Yeah. That's a good question, Mega Man. Let me check. I mean, unless you know how to unpoison him. I, I listen. I am asking above game for Monty to check what this particular poison entails, and if they I are, we'll go from there. Let's cut him out. <laughs> Unfortunately, it's Cusco's poison, so. But that's the poison for Cusco. Yeah, the poison made especially for killing Cusco. Right. But that's Otho. <laughs> Otho, you just have the poison condition, correct? Yeah, I, I was, uh, I failed to save against those maggot birds. Okay, you are still poisoned. Yeah, Oth Otho looks terrible. All right, uh, then Ka Kai's gonna be helping move him. Let's just find a place to take a quick break and, and try to get him to sweat out that poison. Do I still have the sense that we're being watched? <clears throat> For a little bit and then it goes away. Okay. All right, well, I don't know how long we have before we're spotted again. That feeling is gone for now, though, so I guess we could take a break real quick, though. I'm just saying, I think we should take a short rest over here. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, a short just, rest just for which for us to that... get a HP recovery. Just keep in mind that literally every single undead creature in the 16 mile radius centered on me is going to be able to see us so i don't know let's if i can make it really really quick 
I don't know if that's going to be he helped. We still have to sleep and everything. Listen, if, if we get ambushed again, I can just run and try to draw them away from Otho. <sighs> I'm not going to allow you no, to... No, you stop danger. talking. You are poisoned. Keep it down. Look, let's just take a let's break just... for now. We'll keep our eyes out, okay? Yeah, yeah, that's fine. You guys kind of push aside some brambles and kind of sit down. The thing you forgot mostly about Eastendale is how quiet it is. There's no wind. There's no rustling. There's no weather. It's just stagnant. The fog is gone. That's the good news. Oh, that but is good. there is still that tumultuous cloudy sky above you that is permanently overcast and just a complete devoidness of movement. After about 20 minutes, you, for those who aren't really doing an activity, you can just hear your own heartbeat pounding in your ears. It's that quiet. I feel bad with, for anyone that has tinnitus. Ugh. Ugh. Well, I guess we're going to go ahead and execute our short rest then. <laughs> execute yeah. the short rest. Execute, execute short rest. Execute. Right. Question really up. quick. Well then. Well, uh -huh. that, there we go. That, uh, my, my HP has returned. <laughs> so for the roll 20 sheet, if we click short rest, what it exactly should, will that do? Uh, it, it should, should hopefully roll your hit dice now. with your add your constitution. If you want to just do it manually, just roll whatever your hit die is for your class and then add your constitution oh, modifier. Let me give this a shot here. The, the fucking skull. I, I like... Guy just like looks at the scar left by the maggot bird and just like wipes it away like a sharpie. <laughs> Alright, well It's actually not working for me, so that's kind of weird Yeah, it's oh, not boy. working for me either Yeah, I had to roll uh, we, we get, yeah, we've got two hit die right now, right? Yes, yeah. that is yeah. correct Correct Oh boy, okay, five, six, seven Nine Jesus. Sure would be great if we got our spells back When we rested Yeah, try and being a warlock, druid Um You don't have to attack me <laughs> <laughs> My friend is poisoned. Um. <laughs> <laughs> However, I get that back. Um. Uh, once per short rest. Oh, cool, six. So I get second win back. Nice. <laughs> I got hungry jaws back. Uh, oh boy. Do I, do I also get? Oh, and I also get my action surge back. Sick. Yeah, short rests are really good for short fighters. Short rests are good short, for fighters. Short rests are damn. great for the versatility of the 5e fighter. Um, Y'all keep going. I got to double check something for cleric rules. Keep going. We're, we're resting. Keep resting, keep resting. Mark. <laughs> Rest harder. Rest, rest faster. <laughs> Relax. Too anxiety written. <laughs> you, you mean so you don't make any clerical errors? <laughs> Uh, How do you ban someone from a Discord server? I can't believe Connor's gone rogue. Oh, okay. oh uh, minus uh, two. Now taking applications for two new members of the Unexpectables. I like your joke. <laughs> <laughs> oh well, thank you. I appreciate it. Oh, that was All terrible. Right, you guys. That was a suitable amount of punishment. All right. <laughs> If anything else, you guys don't want to do anything else. Your your full your full rest. I'm your short rest will go unabated. Yeah, yeah. Does my poison wear off? How long is a short rest? I believe it's like hour? an hour. hour. It's an, an hour. hour. After an hour, your poison condition is gone. Yeah. Oh, though, is just lying there in agony, just trying to sweat it out. I'm sorry, I just envisioned Otho as, like, what happened to Charlie at the end of the One Smiling Friend episode where he drank the potion. <laughs> Otho, no, while you're laying oh, there, Kai is going to be using uh, his water skin and any kind of fabric that he can have to try to bring down, I assume, what would be a fever that comes with the poison condition. Yeah, it probably... Until it breaks. Yeah, probably just... just body naturally heating up to try and kill whatever is inside of him. Mm-hmm. 
So yeah, he'll be doing that for the entire hour. Thank you, brother. Yeah, just keep your strength. You're gonna need it. Mm. We're not out of the woods yet, literally or figuratively. Yeah. All right, let's get going. Actually, that's a good question for everyone. Um, maybe we might want to shelter in the woods for the night. I mean, we can move from this spot for a little bit, but we're not going to make it to a town anytime soon. You know, that might actually be a good idea, because if we need to double back and go back to... um. Oh, 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 there we go. If we have to go back to Fort Divinity, that might be a good idea. I don't know if crossing the mist a second time is a good idea. I second that. I more mean just making sure that we're protected and we can see where we are and we're not sleeping out in the open. Well, the woods continue on a little bit further if we stay That's there. That's what I mean. Yes. All right, so let's just push in a bit. When we get to the woods edge, then we'll just come for the night. Yes. <clears throat> Agreed. All right. As you guys continue on forward, I would like a group perception check, please. Oh, oh Lordy Lou. Shit. Active perception check? Damn. Oh, I'm angry. 19. Uh, 19? Uh, 17. Okay. As you guys continue down walking through this canopy of woods, uh, Milo and Otho, you do notice off to your right, as you're kind of traveling deeper into the woods, you see, like, kind of between crests and arches of the trees, a large structure far, far away, a massive fortress. Huh. You recall nice seeing that. it before. And it is denoted on your map, and you do see it through the trees. Oh, it... I'm not going to lie. I thought that was Fort Divinity. No, <laughs> Fort Divinity's the other map. I, uh, think I that's... thought it was just a... Wait, yeah. isn't, isn't that the old ruins where the, those maggot bards were, were making roost? I, they did seem to circle around it. Uh, Monty, can I, can I squint harder to see if there are any maggot birds in the sky around it? Or is it too because, thick? Because the trees are too thick, you cannot see more okay. details than just that there is a structure there, and it is at this point very far away. Okay. Uh, the rest of you, as you're moving, you swear you hear in the corner of your ears like the creaking of wood, even though there's no wind. And on occasion, you just see a face in the dark shadows of the forest on occasion, just staring at you and then disappearing. Oh, is like is it a friendly fuck? face? At first, okay. you think Smiling you see face? a face, but then it's just the gnarled twist of the wood. Oh my god, it's fucking fear.exe. God it's damn it. Dryad. <laughs> the skin. We've got dryads. Oh boy, I can't wait to pull up my dart and hit him. Wait. Um, I'm paranoid looking over my back. It's like a whirlwind. Whirlwind inside of my head. My head. Somebody's watching me. As you continue moving on, eventually it begins to get darker and darker and darker, creeping closer to what you know to be nighttime. Uh, and as you are continuing on, you are still in the woods, but you do make your way into the thickest part of the woods, and you wish to make camp for the night? Mm-hmm. Uh, sure. Yeah. All right. What are the watches going to be? Give me the darkest night. Well, I mean, there is no night. It's just a, it's just endless gray. There is he just is. Easton Vale. Give me the darkest gray. All right. <laughs> <laughs> Who would like to go first? I will go first <clears throat> to look with my special eyes. Give, give, then... me, the, give me the most neutral of day. <laughs> All right, guys. I need one more for, like, after Milo. Uh, average day in normal night. <laughs> sure, fucking me, I guess. Go. Okay. Also, Kai, I need one more. I need one of the brothers. Hook down the I'll, brother. I'll do it. Okay. Alrighty. Money, I understand that we're only cracking jokes because we're very scared. I know. Yeah, I understand. I've been there. 
Uh, well, I wouldn't say that. I'd say that I've become so numb because I can't feel you there. It's it's this or fear farts. Take your. <sighs> we just all collectively just. <laughs> <laughs> funny oh, joke. Yeah. Um, Kai. This is gonna sound incredibly vague and weird, but how are you sleeping tonight? Uh, <laughs> 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 Like are are we asking physically or emotionally? Both, more or less. What are you doing Pulse with the orb? Questions. What are you doing with the orb when you're sleeping? Is my question. Uh, this time I'm gonna hold it in my hand because that's how I woke up in bed the last time after I had the vision. Uh, why? So I'm going to. Why? I'm, I'm gonna going... hurt you. So I'm gonna go to sleep with it in my hand, or at the very least, it, near the like in the backpack, so that I can clutch it, so that it's close to me. My precious. Alright, he came to me! I'm gonna stab him in his sleep. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, Eskin. Uh, yeah. Are you guys making a campfire? That is the other question to make here. I'm gonna wager no. How, okay. how is it temperature-wise? It's not like freezing cold or anything, right? It's always the same temperature, which is like just slightly uncomfortable cold, but not freezing cold. Right. It's like prison cold. The, the bigger question is, will we be, if we don't make a fire, are we going to start taking um, exhaustion? No. Okay. No. I would tell you flat out if you would gain a penalty. Right. You haven't had that before. But... We've had so much exhaustion exposure before. We I know. probably understand that pretty well. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Weirdly enough, the weather in Eastvale is the one part that's not really super hostile. <laughs> Cool. All right. Or great. <laughs> All right. Great. He's gonna go ahead and roll for me and roll a perception check with disadvantage because you do not have dark vision. Uh, okay. I just, I just, it just won't. We're just not gonna do it. Yeah. Okay. I'll just roll dice. It's fine. Fourteen. Fourteen. Perform. Oh, oh, wait, the yeah. second one was performance. Sorry. <laughs> Roll another perception. Jesus. I'm 17. sorry, I didn't mean to be that nice. guy, but I'm like, wait. No, what? it's good. Cause <laughs> you look into the notice. darkness and do a little tap dance and then look into the darkness again. <laughs> you, fucking, you fucking JoJo pose <laughs> at the darkness. <laughs> Excuse me, I'm so sorry. East Ken. Mm -hmm. As you're kind of staring out into kind of like the shroud of night, Something large and heavy just rushes past your campsite. Enough to make your skin jump out of your heart. And for a second, you're like battle ready. And then nothing happens. Okay. That's skin, awesome. Yo, the skin jumped out of his heart. He's gonna I, know. Say. I was his trying so skeleton. hard not to be mean. <laughs> no, no, that's no, that's metal. I want to see your heart skeleton. <laughs> well, I mean, the heart's still inside my chest. It's just, it's just has no skin cage. now. <laughs> it's like a fucking binding of Isaac Hart. <laughs> um, yeah. Uh, so when that happens, I'll just sort of maintain a more uh, defensive posture for the rest of my watch, okay. just in case. Can you wake up, Milo. Yes. All right, Milo, could you roll a perception check for me? Yes, ma'am. Ha! Net one! All right. Wow. I'm scared. Just I'm going to roll, roll a d20. If it's high, it's not good. If it's low, we'll see. That's kind I'm, of a, I'm, a, I'm a scared. Honestly, here's the thing. Can I flavor this really quick? Uh-huh. Um... Milo isn't watching out for anything. He is staring at Kai. Like, clutching what I would assume to be the orb while he sleeps. And just, he's freaking out over it. It was mine that came to me! <laughs> Milo, <laughs> as you stare at Kai, that fighting really took it out of you, and it's been such a long journey. Oh no! Do I slip? You, you fall asleep. Oh boy. Hi. I need a wisdom saving throw from you, please. No! Here we go. 
Stop holding it. So nat 20. We're, we're good. We're just scared. Okay. Transitions oh, okay. are happening. I, I, I just was worried that, like, something cut out. <laughs> nope. You're good. Okay. Kai. Monty. Once again, you find yourself waking up in the middle of that four-mirror chamber. Okay. Okay. Take mental notes. Take mental notes. Same four figures, or are they different? You take a look? Yes. All right. Where do you go first? I will stare at whatever mirrors, because the last time I woke up, there were mirrors on all sides of me, so I will just look to the one directly in front of me if there's one there. Roll D4 for me, then, because you, you basically are right in the middle of all four of them when you wake up. Four. You look to the western mirror, and you see a black goat staring back at you. Nothing about it has... That's, that's the one that spoke to me last time, correct? No. That wasn't the one that spoke to me. That no. was the... Raven? I'm blanking on which one spoke to me last time. I thought it was the goat. That might it be my mistake. It was the raven. It was the raven. Okay, cool. So I see the goat. Is their posture any different than the last time that I saw them? It doesn't look like they've moved. Something about them feels more hostile, but you can't. That's maybe just like placebo. You're not sure. Okay. Um, I'm going to approach said goat. Okay. And I would once again like to see if by moving at all, it mirrors my actions at all, or if it moves or speaks at all. Okay. Go ahead and roll a persuasion check. Okay. It's a natural 20. Oh. Damn. You kind of do some motions, trying to get this thing to respond to you. Give me one second here. Thank you. You hear a voice call out to you, not the goat. It's a familiar voice. I wouldn't bother, dear. Baramat is not very talkative. What was that name? Baramat. Baramat. Does that ring any bells to me? No, not at the not in this situation. Possibly okay. when you're conscious, do, though. Who knows? Does the does the voice sound familiar to a voice that I heard the last time I was in here, or when I was walking through the mists? sure does not the mist but this place before but the last time i was here okay yeah i'm gonna turn to see if i see the raven again you do and it is once again sitting on the ground it's strange do you approach i do as you get closer you realize its body is entirely made of stitched leather oh. <laughs> the eyes are like lenses and the beak is just stitched leather, and so are the wings and the rest of the body at all. It looks like a craftsmanship of some kind, and it just looks up at you. Kai is going to shiver and attempt to hide back the mixture of intrigue, fear, and nausea that come over seeing such a creature for the first time 
which I assume I've never seen anything like it. No. Okay. This is very large. It's quite big as well. Uh, sorry, did you say Baramut? <sighs> is that him? I'm gonna, he's gonna point back towards the, the goat. The black goat, yes. Baramut. His legends so are he, yours to discover. He, so he doesn't speak? He does. Just not to you. So why do you talk to me? The bird kind of creases its head, and as it does, it's almost like the knocking of like a wooden kind of crank, like... <sighs> because you are a lot like me. You're curious. So much so that it could get you killed. Well, I'm trying to avoid that, if at all possible. And yet you did not heed my warning last you were here. I, I woke up. You did that time. You have one of the orbs, don't you? That's the only way you can find yourself here. Y yeah, I, I found this one off a big city in the ocean. Eh, worm tongues work, no doubt. Uh, the neck cranes I... back and the head wait, leans wait, back. Wait, 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 you, you know worm tongue? Of course I do. Yeah, he's trying to kill us. Me. All, yeah, me and my friends. I would have figured you would have known that, given your assumed quest at the moment. <clears throat> yeah, we're kind of figuring out as we go, but yeah, he's definitely not pleased with us. No, and neither will the rest of them. Does he kind of motion to the other mirrors? Yeah, and also the voice is feminine, you can tell. Okay. So wait. Are, are you with them in Wormtongue? Or not? That, my dear, is complicated. To whomever you ask, my timing was always inconvenient. <laughs> Honestly, I can kind of relate a little bit. Um, so what is this place exactly? It is an in-between. It is a conduit, a median, a mirror, a clarity, a way of seeing for us. So if an... this is the middle point and I'm from, I'll call it the real world, what's the other side? Think of the orb like an eyeball and think of this place like a brain. They're connected and one has a bit ah. more depth than the other. But this place has been long abandoned. Again, I've made things difficult. And I have a feeling you're making things difficult, too. Uh, for some people, yeah. But we're also trying to help others, if that makes any sense. Hmm. The bird kind of looks down in contemplation. Where are you right now? And what uh, is your name? Are we talking about, like, right here or where my actual body is? And that's Where not meant to be sarcastic. Okay. Body is. E e Eastonvale, the the far southern point. Oh. Big castle. Yeah, big cat. So look, I already know that this bead basically draws everything bad to me. So I, there's not really much more that you can do. It's just we're already piled on, and. Uh, you can so, doubt yeah. me, but I have no ill will towards you. If anything, are goals might surprisingly align can i insight that you know what no yeah, i'm go. gonna i'm gonna i'm kai's gonna think what he's gonna think i'm not gonna insight this thing you got it. i want to but i'm not going to tell me young man do you know of trey scalden uh 
I don't think so. Hmm. Well. Is that a name I should know? It's a name that I know quite well. Perhaps in the future you shall find yourself in the company of an ally from Treskaldum. One that shares my so, voice. So that's a location? It is a country, yes. They do not okay. like our kind there. They never have and never will. Can I ask what exactly you are? I am you. A curious sort who got in way over their head. So and I this, think... In, he's he's going to kind of gesture to the raven's body. Is this like a projection or a... I guess avatar is the word? Or is this you? Hmm. Your eyes are not clear. Things are too cloudy. There are too many still in place. It makes sense. I tried my best, but the work was still not completely undone. How many anchors... I wonder. Yeah, anchors? You mean beads? Mm, beads, yes. I'm sure that's the simplified version how you view it. It makes me uh, wonder. There's a is there's a couple, at least for Easton Vale, that we're trying to get. This is the second of them. Mm. You've piqued my curiosity, and I'm sure I've piqued yours. But our time of our yeah. meeting is done. For more clarity and more clarity and more understanding, you must collect more orbs. You must switch them over, and my self shall be clear to you. Look towards the east. You'll find an ally. It will be me, but in a different form. And perhaps there we shall form an understand me. Uh, understanding. Don't look for me. I'll look for you. And if uh, you see Worm Tongue, you're welcome to try, but you won't find too much success. Try what? You know what I mean. And uh, immediately I'm not trying to the fight room anybody. begins to I'm... fog, and the mirrors become unclear, and as the rest of you all wake up late, Kai, you <gasps> wake up in <gasps> <first>. <gasps> <sighs> brother? Brother, are you all right? Yeah, yeah, I'm fine. What's going on? Oh, a lot, a lot. We, uh, is everybody okay? I'm going to just go over and check on Kai. <clears throat> is the bead in my hand? The bead is in your hand, yeah. I'm going to try to stuff it in my backpack before anybody comes over, but... Anybody who's looking that way will see me do it. Wait, was was no one on watch? Oh, I, I, oh my I, God. I wasn't on watch. I wasn't wait, meant to. Wait, wait, what time is it? It's morning. I didn't oh, get woken no. up. Oh no, 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 no. Oh, guys, I'm so sorry. I just. Guys, this... holds his hand out to stop him from saying anything. Oh. Are we all in one piece? Uh, I think so. And apologies are not necessary. Oh. I'm going to... After making sure Kai is is fine, I'm going to rifle through my stuff. Make sure everything is still there. Okay. And I would like to survey... Oh, go ahead. You find everything. Everything is there and accounted for. Well, I've got all my things. I will check I would... my things. <laughs> Swing every weapon I have. One, <laughs> yeah. two, three. <laughs> every one. weapon must be swung. As you all, everybody kind of goes to their things. It's all there, including your gold and all your supplies. Everything okay. is there. Uh, I want to survey the area and check our surroundings. Uh, make sure we are not, like, I don't know, surrounded. Okay. By our surroundings. Uh, go to red for me and go to red. For, oh, God, my English. I'm so sorry. Go ahead for me and roll a survival check. Can I guidance that? Uh, you may, yes. All right. Add that D4, because it might matter. Whoops. Unless you just want me to do it. Nope, I got it. 
There you go. Hey. Flaccid 20. Nice. E-scan, as you kind of, like, as your companions are searching through their bags, you notice kind of around the ground, like, footprints. But weirdly enough, they're not, like, walking, like, tracks. It's just next to every where everybody was sleeping, you see set into the ground as if someone was standing there, like, the whole time, like, two sets of footprints. Oh, of just gross. someone standing next to everybody. <laughs> oh. <clears throat> uh, guys? Yes, what is it? Someone was watching us. But it it doesn't make sense. I don't I don't see any tracks leading here or going away. There's just look. And he kind of points them out to everybody else. Are they oh, like dude. boot pr boot prints, footprints? What? Yeah. They look like foot, like human footprints. With with shoes on or, or actual feet? Like feet. Oh, okay. Good. Cool. There's not much we can do about it right now. Are there people that can fly? Actually, that's a great question. Monty? I don't have an answer. That's such a broad <laughs> question. I can't give Can people answer. fly? Can, Monty, <laughs> here's a better question. Would I know of the magical ability to fly? Well, we all know of that, because Winona did it. Yeah, yeah, Winona did that. That's what we, I, that's, we did okay, it. Well, then, there we go. Look, maybe we should just get going. If someone knows where we are, then we probably shouldn't be here anymore. I agree. Yeah, let's get out of here. Let's go. All right. You guys gather up your things and begin to walk. Oh, right, ration. Yeah, everyone right off ration and water. Who right? Care about your, your bucket friend. <laughs> bucket hey, friend. Bucket. Thank Hello, God, bucket. 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 No. Oh, there we go. E-scan. Uh -huh. As you guys are beginning to emerge from the woods, you get that weird feeling again. Okay, there's that feeling again. Uh, everyone be on your guard. Perhaps let's pick up the pace then. <laughs> Is that the sound of East Kent shuffling? Yes. No. That's, that's running on all the code for shit for yeah, on the house. <laughs> like Vash. Um, real quick, Milo's going to be constantly looking back at Kai to look him up and down because he knows that he had the orb in his hand when Kai went to sleep. How's he looking? Are you asking me or are you asking yes. Monty? I'm asking you. Uh, he looks like he didn't sleep well. Ah. But he is clearly going about his day and trying mm -hmm. not to interfere with anything. Kai, are you all right? Uh, yeah. Yeah, I'm good. Just, I agree that we should probably move quickly. All right, you, you stashed the old back, right? Yeah, it's in, it's in my backpack. I just hope you don't touch it anymore. I hate to say it, but I don't have a choice anymore. What does that mean? Well, like I said the first time, when I woke up with it in, in bed, it was just there. I didn't go to sleep like that. Would you trust someone else to carry it then? My gut tells me it's going to end up back in my hand anyway, so I'd rather not make it worse for anybody else. Do you maybe want to try that? We don't know exactly what we're working with here, and... Well, you're the more curious one. All I know is we should get this taken care of, and I might have a lead on the next one. All right, good to know. Just be careful. Yeah, I appreciate the concern. It actually means a lot. He pats your shin. And we're going to double time it. Mm-hmm. Are you guys running? Uh, I... I um, as, excuse, I mean, excuse me, as a satyr, I you mean hoof it? <laughs> Good. Yeah, thank you. There you go. Thank as you. As not a satyr, no. <laughs> as not a satyr, no. That's not what I meant. 
Well, you wouldn't say we're going to foot it. That just sounds stupid. Exactly. That's why I said we're going to do double time. Right. right. Anyway, are, you guys, though, are you guys actually running? I I would say a quick pace. Not, maybe not running because we don't want to get exhausted. A yeah. brisk jog. A brisk jog. A trot, okay. as a satyr might say. As you guys emerge from the woods and eventually find yourselves on the rolling, open, bleak hills of Eason Vale, you can now see more of the terrain, with the fog being absent. Um, you can see far off in the distance woods, um, you know, rivers, and that large font, that sort of like apex of a tornado almost, the far off distance to the north, kind of funneling in the dark and bleak kind of green and gray cloudy skies. And as you guys proceed on the overgrown path ahead of you, um, you kind of continue to make your way. And it is eerily quiet. You see no hostilities. You see no in other individuals on the road as you eventually, once again, see that creep of night begin to make its way across the horizon. Well, at least it's not raining. Sometimes I wish it would. Slow turn. At least we'd be able to hear something else. Hear anything. Now I know you're scared. <laughs> I guess we'll just set up then. Um, should we, we only make like, it one square? Yeah, we only made it one square. Like, yeah. Should we? We're on foot. You guys are on foot. foot. You can only move 16 miles on foot a day. <laughs> um. Speaks now. Would even yeah. Hey, would, Rebo? Even, Rebo? would it even? Would even? Money, would it even be worth trying to do any sort of check to try and find some kind of cover? I'd say a survival check if you guys want to do that as a group, because there are yeah. high grasses here. You could manage something, but it's definitely not as secure as the tree line. Right. Do you want like a group? survival yes this would be a group survival which means this unfortunately Six. cannot be guidanced oh that's fine Three. i got 16. Nice. i got a 22. nice <laughs> kai is not good at surviving Ooh, i got hey. a 23. i hate nice. to be a spoiler kai's not good at anything <laughs> <laughs> except, except killing and tanking well you know good old bosco and his tanking all right, oh, so Milo, Iskan, and Otho, uh, you guys managed to find a good spot to kind of make camp. You kind of like push aside some some of the tall grasses, just kind of make a clearing. Uh, and I imagine uh, Gaius, you collect some some you know maybe some firewood or some provisions of some kind. While as Kai, three axes oh. and all the time in the world to chop down trees. Let's go. <laughs> <laughs> well, I cannot. It, like force your character to do anything. I imagine your character's uh, Kai is a little bit like thinking in thinking mode right now. I can only imagine. He's he's very shaken while also yes contemplating. He's not doing anything to help. He's very in his head. Mm -hmm. If you would like to, as everyone is setting up, you could make a depending on your choices, a history, arcana, or religion check on the name that you got in the dreamscape. I'll, I will. I'll give a history a shot. Eleven. Levin, never heard of anything like that. Fair enough. As you guys make camp, is it okay if we just use the same watches from last time? Yeah. Sure. Yeah. Hopefully yeah. this time with a little less falling asleep. <laughs> I can't control the rules. <laughs> make your right. toast this before I, I you... will say, uh, Kai is going to test a theory. He's going to leave the orb in his backpack and see if he ends up with it in his hand when he wakes up. Okay. East can go ahead and roll a perception check for me. Uh, assuming no no campfire. Yeah. Eighteen. Okay. Nice. A little bit more open. You're able to see a bit more. Okay, eighteen. During the night, before it gets too dark, you do notice flying overhead. One of those birds. But it okay. just kind of. I was going to say, I'll, I'll, cr I'll crouch down into the tall grasses since everyone else yeah. is already lying down as well. Just 
it doesn't seem to notice you as it heads to the south. Whew. All right. I will go to wake Milo. All right. Milo, you were awoken. Oh, all right. Stay awake, stay awake, stay awake this time, stay awake this time. Just so you know, I saw one of those birds fly overhead. Uh, didn't seem to see us, though. Just, you know, keep low. Right. <laughs> uh, that, that's all I can do, really. <laughs> oh, well, and preferably awake. Yeah, no, no. Go to bed. All right. All right, Milo, go ahead and roll a straight check for me because you have dark vision. Whee! God damn it. 11. 11, okay. Well, it's not an at one. Oh, those some low rolls. Milo, as you kind of keep your eyes out for something, you don't see or hear anything. And your watch goes without a hitch. Oh, boy. Okay. Uh, who's next? Otho. Otho. The Otho. The Otho. The Otho. The Otho Cinco. All right, Otho, it's your turn. All right. Start roll for me, Otho. Here I go. Wait, don't you get advantage if you shift? If I shift, I get advantage. I might as well. Okay. Kitty. Meow, meow, meow. Kitty time. Oh, yeah. Uh, 11. <laughs> 11. <laughs> you don't see anything during the night. Gaius, hmm. you are last. All right. Here I go. Perceptioning again. Four. Four. Ugh. You sharpen your weapons. It's fine. As you all rise up in the early morning... Once again, there's this sort of stagnant, cold weather. But there's no frost or dew. It is just cold, dry, cold. Any weird-ass footprints? Oh, sorry, I hit the mic. <clears throat> <laughs> no, no, no weird-ass footprints. Okay. What about uh, just regular weird footprints? Your own? <laughs> yes, there's a few. <laughs> Any weird-ass footprints? Yeah. Listen, listen, listen. Any Listen, weird I, asses. I, I just, I just want to know if our ghost stalker is having a good day. Fuck. <laughs> Are there any ghost horse footprints? Uh, <laughs> you do not see any horse footprints of any okay. uh, living or otherwise. Cat, cat blur into the screen when you say that. <laughs> Kai. Right, oh. oh, sorry. When you wake yes. up, the orb is not in your hand. Okay. So what if we learned, Ray? <laughs> <laughs> we we can't. This is our Star Wars for the Venture Brothers. We can't go a fucking single episode without a fucking Ghostbusters reference. <laughs> That's a big Twinkie. <laughs> okay. You guys collect all your things and you guys continue on. Mm hmm. Let's right, do it. Yeah. As Here's you guys the real question. Do we want to go towards Orchard? No. <laughs> no. Okay. As you guys continue down the road, you begin to see the almost thin and mangled black skinny trees of probably what were once apple trees kind of cresting over the horizon. And about probably like midday to early evening, time is kind of weird here. You see something ahead of you in the road. Okay. Perception? We've done this before, Monty. Is you don't, it a need, pie? A per you don't yeah. need a perception. You see a table with a pie no. on it. No! no. Is it a fresh pie? And next to it, you see another table with a second pie on it. God, they're multiply. They're multiplying. I'm not sorry. Let's walk <laughs> around it. <laughs> can we avoid it? Can, can we just avoid it, please? <laughs> but it might have goodies. No, put the fuck off with the goodies. The last it goodies were wasps. Bugs. It was angry, or. aggressive bugs. 
Yes, Connor? It could have bugs. <laughs> it could be anything inside. It could I, even be I, another pie. It could be you. <laughs> it could be I me. Mean, I swear to God, we find the one asshole who's doing this, and he's no, like, I, the, the, the most infamous pie man. <laughs> So we're avoiding the pies. pies. All right, we're, all right. We're avoiding the pies. Pie Before we walk around it, can I? Will you all let me ritual cast to take magic so we can see if it's magic pie? It's definitely a magic pie. You and don't know that. It's, it's most it likely it's a magic pie. Definitely magic. a magic pie. We've been down this road the, before quite okay, literally. Okay, okay. Literally. Listen, <laughs> listen, okay, I'm I'm going to I'm going to put this by you. I guarantee you we probably are gonna get like some kind of magic, and we touch the pie. It's a fucking magic rune that initiates infestation. Also, even if it isn't magical, it's obviously suspicious, and we've seen this before. Could be different this time. There's two pies. <laughs> that, you know what? It could be, and I'm not ridiculous. willing to risk it. No, there's two My more. personal preference. Oh my I just want look above game. I just want to see if the, if they go have ahead, any sort ahead. of magic. Just, just do it. Just, I'll okay. tell you what. It takes ten minutes to write ritual cast detect magic. You'll still be in range if we walk around and and pass them. So you'll yeah. know if it's magical as we're leaving. Okay. Is that a fair compromise? That's fine. I just want to know if it's magical okay. pie or not. All right. Can we do okay. that, Monty? Can we walk past the pies and let him ritual cast as we're walking? Right. As you give a wide breath, I think the range of uh, detect magic is 30 feet. If I'm 30 feet. 30 yeah. Okay. As you guys kind of give a wide breath of the pies, um, you cast detect magic and you detect no magic. Turns out they were scientific pies all along. Oh, <laughs> uh, guys, there's no magic coming out of that pie. I will give you, you this. Say. The last time you detected magic on the first pie, you also did not detect magic. Ah, that's fair. That's why I'm saying let's not risk this. Yeah, See, no, uh, I'm not taking any chances. No, no, in, in character, Milo wouldn't either, but above game, I just, I want to poke it. I want to know, know what's do. in it. And you I know you do, guys. <laughs> Resist, I know. please. I, I do as well, but... Listen, we nearly we're, died last we're time. We're in zombies. Yeah. We're in, we are in Zombie Town, USA. I don't want to fuck with magic pies in Zombie Town, USA. Well, they're not magic. Zero. Tabletop they RPGs without context are the most bizarre shit a human being can utter any word. What if the pie follows us? <laughs> we'll work across that bridge when we get there. a very different problem, and we will address it. Are you, suggest <laughs> are you fucking suggesting the pie is going to grow mimic legs <sighs> and run after us? Are you suggesting Monty, the pie is Monty, I'm, I'm begging you. Monty, I'm begging you. Move us forward, please. A five-ounce bird cannot carry a ten-ounce pie. This is funny. <laughs> I, this is why I'm glad yeah. there's no cameras, because my face has gone through, like, just the full spectrum of emotions <laughs> during this entire thing. All right, you guys have <laughs> the pie yeah. Milo, you detect the pie is not magical and you guys kind of skirt around the edge and continue down the road <laughs> Dude, I'm telling now you, there's an npc attached to these pies Dude. and i hope <laughs> we never meet them i am telling you we are gonna find mimic food somewhere in this fucking campaign <laughs> knowing monty it'll be cheese that'll be the one What's that we Pharaoh's least expect saying. All right, as you guys continue on down the road, you eventually do see the road that turns off into Orchard, and you can see the derelict and very depressing townscape of Orchard with its dead orchard trees and just lifeless husk of buildings. And then the road carry on, uh, carries on northward. Well, we know oh. where, where we're meant to go. Yes, so let us continue going that way. Okay, well, you guys continue on north. And as you guys continue on north, once again, the dark creeps. I bet there was a hundred gold in that a pie. Creep. Yeah, yeah oh and my, it would attack us creep. too. Oh my gentle oh, god, I'm I bet, I bet the about gold it. was fucking mimics, bro. Come on. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, the, the pie had swarm gold of and gold the gold, starts flying the around. gold were mimics. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Monty, you have a new idea. <laughs> yeah, sure, yeah, I'll work on it. No, I'll, I'll write it in my next homebrew, don't you worry. The pie of gold. <laughs> but gold mimics. <laughs> All right. Are you good for the same watches for tonight? Yeah. Okay. Here we go. No, guys... Monty, Kai, we'd like to do another experiment. No. Go for it. What's your experiment? Okay. Before he goes to bed, with the orb still in his bag, he is going to make a fist 
preferably out of the way of anybody, so he'll make it look like he's sleeping. And he wants to see if when he opens his hand, he's going to think about the orb if it's there. Okay. Can you do that right now? Uh, I, I will do it before he goes to bed. So if you want to do the first watch, that's up to you. Okay. You scan. Go ahead and roll a perception check. <laughs> Ooh. Uh, 24 nice. is the okay. disadvantage. I'm you like all, um, hyper awareness right now. <laughs> you all once again make a nest of uh, the grass that's around you. Um, no fire, I'm assuming. Correct. Correct. As everybody goes to sleep, Kai, you flex your fist and nothing happens. Worth the shot. He'll go to bed. Okay. As you all settle in for the night, you scan, you kind of like a meerkat, I imagine, kind of stand yeah. up and do a little <laughs> bit of a survey and then go back down. When you get up and look over the horizon towards the west, you see something purple vanish from your sight. Is it one of those things that was there and I didn't notice till it was gone, or...? The moment you poke, poke up your head and look, it kind of, like, zoop, vanishes. How far away is it? Quite far. It was like a little moat. He'll sort of, like, look away from it for a couple of minutes and then look back in that direction again to see if he can see it again. It's closer by a significant margin. And whatever it is, it's floating and is, like, an ethereal purple-pink color. And the moment you turn and look at it, it vanishes again. Right. He's going to spend the rest of Watch looking in that direction. As you do so, kind of standing there, you hear a voice. Why? Why won't you eat my pies? And you watch as coming out from the ethereal plane, a specter wearing oven gloves and a chef's hat and an apron bursts out. And I need everyone to roll initiative. I please. fucking oh called God. it! It's a fucking Danny Phantom villain. <laughs> I am the box ghost! Jesus Beware! Christ. It's my time. 15. It's the pie ghost! <laughs> I am the pie ghost! <laughs> <laughs> Jimmy! I need, I need this man to have the regular ordinary sausage man voice. <laughs> <laughs> it's pie Hello. time! Here we go! Your corpse, five Mark Ruffalo! <laughs> a 16 for Eastcan. That's a, a 6 for Otha. <laughs> that might Will be one of the mulch? highest initiatives I've ever rolled. I can't even tonight. Yeah, you know, uh, folks, <laughs> I, 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 I roll initiative. That, that, I told that... you I wasn't gonna do the gold mimic pie challenge, but Here enough are. of you sent me messages, so I guess we're gonna do it. That's, we that's, the, that's the that's the that's the that's 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 the Seder water. I the hope Seder I water. hope to fucking god no one gives him this clip of anything we do right now. <laughs> Here we go. And if you do, we love yeah, your sure, show, sh dude. Sure, sure oh. would be a shame if you found out about this. Sure would be a shame. We love your we stuff, love, dude. No, for real though. <laughs> All right, I'm pulling you over to the map now. God. Scroll down. Oh. Ooh. Oh, that loaded perfectly, actually, on, on Wallfly. How about that? All right, give me hey. two seconds here. Wait a minute. Uh-oh. I just I just had an epiphany and a very scary one. I'm effectively useless here. Yeah. I can't hit a ghost. I was about to say, I should mean... we should we try would should we try to encourage it to start a bakery somewhere where they could you know, never mind. This thing's I'm not a good roll, with... roll a bakery persuasion check. <laughs> hey, I'm a chef, damn it. You, well, yeah, that means you get to roll, roll with your persuasion check Yo. with your cooking modifier. <laughs> Yo, hold the fuck up. If you get to go first, can you challenge it to a cook off? <laughs> I could try. Welcome oh, to Phantasmal on. Chef. Let's go. Mark DeCoscos rolls up out of nowhere. <laughs> I mean, the goblins were one thing. This, I don't know, chief. <laughs> Nonsense. <laughs> That's quitter talk. 
Today's special ingredient is maggot bird. You. <laughs> <laughs> Let's see. Oh, pretty good initiatives, guys. We have e scan. Hell yeah. Milo, how good are you at backflips? Uh, for those who are asleep, if you are wearing heavy armor, you are not anymore because you cannot sleep in heavy armor. Oh so boy. Oh, cool. So what I would like to do is construct an ice oven um, so I can cook my fish on ice. Oh, actually. What? It's a real thing that happened in Iron Chef. Oh, okay. He made like a barbecue out of ice. It was weird. And we have... You're right. That is weird. Hi. <laughs> Thanks, Connor. Glad All right. I have your support. E scan as this uh, womanly chef wearing oven mitts over what probably would be long claws, wispy hair kind of trapped underneath a chef's hat, a long apron kind of tapering into their flowing ethereal body. Uh, they look very angry, and uh, it is now your turn. Everybody up! And he's going to take a step towards the group, uh, hold his hand out, and uh, I will go ahead and guiding bolt this scary-looking ghost. You got it. Hug it. That's a 15 to hit. 15 hits for 12 points of damage. Holy oh, shit. Damage. All right. As you blast this ghost, she lets out a shriek of pain as the light kind of encapsulates her, and she goes, what is this? This is not food safe! <laughs> oh my god, she's- Sorry, I don't have a card! FDA approved. <laughs> <laughs> she is still alive, though. Yeah, no, that's... she's not, she's a ghost! Well, she's well... a ghost, but you know what I mean. <laughs> she's still unalive. <laughs> yeah, that's, uh, that's my turn. Alrighty, that brings us to Milo. It is now your turn as you're roused awake. Uh, you oh. are prone, technically, because all of you were sleeping. So I will that spend in mind. half my movement oh. to stand. Alright, you spend half your oh. movement to get up. <laughs> what? And, and he's just gonna look up at this thing. <laughs> what unholy abomination is that? And immediately just blast the crap out of it with another guiding bolt. Okay. I assume with advantage because it is an attack. Yeah, with advantage. Yeehaw. Uh, 24. That hits. Well, Bam. Uh, yeah, 24 hits, yep. Bam. Oh! For eight radiant. Eight radiant and still is glowing. You were just waking She's up. still it's glowing. Fun. You wake up and immediately go, ah! And you thrust your hand out and <laughs> blast her in the stomach. And she goes, I just said that wasn't food safe. I'm running? Because <laughs> this okay. is a nightmare for Milo. I came to you for safety. I have an AC of 12. I hate to break it to you, Chief. Um, that's only one less than me. <laughs> well, so... have fun. No! You're supposed to watch my back. We've talked about this. <laughs> I just bore witness. I woke up and saw literally the most horrid abomination perversion of cooking. I'm a little freaked out I, right I now. I love that, though. You, like, wake up, scream throw a hand out, cast a bolt of fire, and then run. All right, Milo. Shaking. Yeah. It uh, is that's... now your turn. No, that was my turn. Oh, sorry. Uh, Gaius, it is now your turn. Stand up, put my armor back on. Uh, armor takes a long time to put on. It's not an instant action thing. It takes like a certain amount of minutes. Ten minutes. It yeah. is ten minutes. Cool. Uh, well... I don't fucking know any better. Yahoo! Great Axe is going to do jack dick, but it's for the content. Do it for Go the for it. 17. 17 you have hits. advantage. <laughs> I have advantage? Oh, 19. 19 right. hits, yep. Technically double. Five sl with a natural one on damage, plus four, so five slashing. You go and you get a solid swing and cleave this woman in half. But as you retch your axe back, her form just kind of 
wisps together. It doesn't wisp together fully, though. There still seems to be some damage taken. <clears throat> All right, cool. So it, I'm, I'm not like, I am still, like, I've been in this situation in 3.5, and it's just like, well, fuck you, martial class. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. All right, well, that's a, that's my turn. Maybe all right, you the chef looks to you, and you watch as she pulls out a large, like, butcher's cleaver, and she uh -huh. looks at you guys and goes, You think that's a knife? This is a knife! And she swings down towards you. Uh, technically, it's an axe. I see you've played knifey spoony before. <laughs> uh, that is going to be a 14. <sighs> yeah, that hits. That Wait, hits. hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Uh, the, 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 yeah, even that hits. I need you to make a constitution saving throw for me, please. Fuck. Seven. Seven, that is a failure. You take seven points of necrotic damage. Okay. And your hit point maximum re reduces by seven. Permanently? You'll find out. I'm cool! Sure. She hacks into you all, and you watch as part of Gaius's goat soul leaves his body. She snaps it up, puts it in a mixing bowl, and begins to just, like, stir fervently. <laughs> oh my god! Yeah, help! Oh my god, she's making soul food! <laughs> oh, oh my, my god. god! That ends her turn. That brings us to Kai. It is now your turn. Uh, is, that my, is, that, is that my grandma? She's making soul food? Quick question oh. before I do something, because... I just want to know, do I have any idea what just happened to Gaius? Yeah, you saw her pull up part of his soul and put it into a mixing bowl and stir it. Okay. Uh, Kai is going to go right here. Uh, he is going to reach into his bag, and I guess this would count as interact with object. He's going to pull out the bead and put it in one hand. He's going to hold out his hand with the other hand, uh, and then he is going to speak to this thing. Listen, we'll try your pies, but I just need you to stop. And he's going to try to stop this ghost using the orb. Okay. Because he doesn't you know any better. You reach out, you hold to the orb, nothing happens. And that'll be turn. As your turn ends, she kind of brings her, her like oven mitt finger and kind of scoops into the bowl and licks some of Gaius's, uh, <laughs> essentially, soul oh, I'm, sauce. I'm, I'm, I am out of game piss. Soul sauce. That ends Kai's turn. Otho, it is now your turn. We finally found the secret ingredient to raising Kane's sauce. Oh my god. Oh. Uh, Otho wakes up to utter chaos ensuing. <laughs> he just looks up and around. Eh, what's happening? Takes one look at the ghost and goes, <laughs> And he's going to throw a dagger at it. Okay. It's a reference. To cats. <clears throat> to cats in ancient Egyptian culture, how they wow. are the enemy of the. Only oh, I can culture shock Mark. Who uh, the fucking. Uh, 10? 10 misses. As you go in and fling it, it just kind of goes through her body and clatters onto the road. Ha <laughs> What if I just. Uh, and o Otho's going to scurry up up to Kai. All right, that is your action, your movement. You have your bonus action. Uh, I don't think there's anything I Did can really do. Did you not have advantage because of Guide and Bolt? He no, because uh, you, you, had you already took that. Yeah. Uh, cool. Oh, it didn't Which double stack? It. No, it no, doesn't it double does stack. No, it does not. Dang. Because I, I took it for advantage for my shot, if you remember. Right. And then you would pass on the advantage from your hit. To mm -hmm. the right. Got it. Yeah, that's just going to be my turn. All right. Eastcan, it is now your turn. Oh, I'm so glad we're all sticking together. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to repeat action. All right. And... Guidey bolty. Jesus! Oh, that is a natural oh, 20. Okay. That How is. How do you have so many dice? Single target fire. That's 7d6. No, what? it's 4d6. Oh, because you critted. 4d6 doubled. Right. Yeah. That's right, because you critted. 
So it's 8d6. You basically just did a fireball at level yeah. 2. I just want to yeah. throw that out. That's a total of 28 radiant damage. As this thing is lifting up its cleaver to take another hack off of Gaius, Iskan, you're all alone and you look at this thing and you just thrust out your hand and it, she lets out a horrible scream as the beam of light just completely eviscerates her form. Can I add a little bit of flavor to this? Is she, is she for it. like done? Oh, she's done. Okay. Like dinner, like okay. a pie. Um, you all will kind of turn and look towards Iskan, who uh, uncharacteristically calmly is lowering his hand, and you can see the fierce glow of starlight in his eyes. And the faintest hint seems to also be coming from various parts of his scales before it eventually fades, and the normal nervous face returns as he starts to kind of hyperventilate a little bit. <sighs> okay. Everyone all right? No. Oh, oh, okay. Taking a look at, at uh, Gaius. Likewise. Um... Yeah, where my where the cut is, it feels void, like nothing's there, even though there's flesh. Uh, Monty, can I medicine check this? Go for it. Please, half decent roll. Damn it, eight. This does not look medical in nature. You can see there she <clears throat> cut into Gaius. There's kind of like this sort of like cloudy blackness that's kind of like oozing where blood should be instead. Can... Uh... Mm. Hmm. <laughs> hmm. I would like to cast Detect Poison and Disease. Okay. You cast Detect Poison and Disease. You detect no poison and no disease. Cool. Uh... I mean, it doesn't look like you're poisoned or anything. At least not any poison I've ever seen. Does anyone know what places that thing was? Uh, Is that even a check that we can do, Monty? That would yeah. be religion or arcana. Let's go. Cool. Uh, sure. 13. Natural one for a total of five. Uh, heaven or hell, let's we'll, rock. We'll make an attempt. That's a 14. Nice. That's a 10. Milo, what's your background? Uh, Acolyte. Okay. You automatically get this. Yay! Uh, Otho, you get this as well. Uh, that was oh a boy. specter. A specter what? is an angry, unfettered spirit of a humanoid that has been prevented from passing to the afterlife. So it's like a ghost, right? Except it's just far more angry. Yes, I've I've heard of them. Money, would Do I we know? Get... Yeah, I was about oh, to say the same question. <laughs> yeah, would we know? Was... Would we know what it's capable of? Uh, you know they can drain the life from people. Do we know whether or not it may come back? You, I would say with your Acolyte background that you've probably heard tale of people dealing with specters because they tend to be, again, term termulous spirits that cannot pass on and you have to help them pass mm -hmm. on. Um, generally, rest helps restore your vitality. Mm. All right, cool. So just take it easy. Don't, don't go too crazy. You should be all right. You know that Gaius is quite lucky because these types of creatures can wrench the entire soul from a creature's body and doing so kills them instantly as well. Oh. Uh, so yeah, just um, now we know a bit better. Uh, maybe we should skip your watch tonight. Yeah, I'd suggest that too. Just get a full night's rest. Gaius looks down at his injury, looks up, the smile's gone. He's like middle faced. <sighs> Very well. 
sullen by the fact he took an injury. He just goes back down to rest. So, uh... Kai, would you mind taking his shift later? Uh, uh yeah, sure. All right. Mr. Seat Lolly. Huh? You were glowing for a second there. Was I? Yes, I saw it in your eyes and on your lighter parts of your scales. Really? Yeah, it's actually side kind of sort of what I've seen with what I can do and people like me can do. I didn't really feel anything. I mean, I talked to you before about how, you know, I, I was trying to cast another spell and this started happening pretty recently, actually. But I didn't feel any different. Well, you sure did a number on that specter. Oh. I was really scared. <laughs> Sorry. Well, looked like something for the better took over you. Uh, if you say so. All right, well, let's get back to the watches and get back to sleep. Pick up, there's three pies <clears throat> with tables. <laughs> you just a yeah. giant pie with three small tables you didn't on it. win <laughs> why won't you eat my tables one of them looks like Gaius's face <laughs> oh I don't like that at all <laughs> I fucking despise that as you all continue your rest and watch this for the night we're unabated and Gaius you regain your hit points and Hooray. Your thank god and that's where we're going to take our break Oh boy. oh boy! I'm gonna go grab a quick bite. I think. Yeah, I'm gonna okay. go. Get the Hopefully not some pie. Juice. I'm gonna oh. eat some some. <laughs> yeah, have some mutton. <laughs> <laughs> have some uh, some mutton. Yeah. Oh my god! Some Gaius pie. I'll be right back. That's what I call shepherd's pie. Well, welcome into the halftime show, everybody. Hope you guys are doing well. By the way, speaking of that nerd, artsy, heartsy, fartsy, partsy, uh, thank you to everybody who swung by the Halo stream last night where we tried to top that off. And actually, what I'd like to do, before I get to the bits and subs, we actually had some donations, because you guys are crazy, and we appreciate that. Uh, where are we currently before I start going crazy? Ah! So currently we have raised uh, $7,331 for that dork. And uh, thank you for, let's see, Joel, thank you for the $25 donation about an hour ago. Uh, we had a couple of anonymous donations, one for 10 bucks and one for 50 bucks about an hour ago. So thank you to you guys. Oh, uh, Harrison, thank you for the 50 bucks. And Seth, thank you for the $10 donation. Uh, again, for those of you that would like to donate, give me just a second, I'll give you the link. Uh, we really appreciate this. So you might be like, oh, well, wait, it's already funded. That is just to cover his current expenses. So anything over this will just help him while he's out of work or uh, to take care of anything additional that might come up. So we really appreciate it. Thank you for even getting us anywhere near the number. And then thank you for taking us over. Hell I know yeah. I know, Artsy really appreciates it. And so does his family and all of his friends. You heard Monty earlier. So thank you, guys. We really appreciate it. If you're thinking about dropping bits or subs, that's a great place to check them this week, but we appreciate it either way. That being said, we have Solar Fire. Thank you for the bit. If ranged weapons like guns and bows, can you do blade ship inspired combat? I I suppose. I Callum Drops, guess. thank you for the 10 bits. Anyone want a slice of Pious Agni? You know, Zen Little, thank you for the 100 bits. We had a fantastic episode title from uh, Muffin Mage 9 earlier Pie Are Scared. That's good. I like that. But it it's, it's too spoilery. I don't know if it's that spoilery. It depends on what happens the rest of the episode. Yeah, that's fair. Yeah. It, it's, a, it's a good fallback, I'll say. Also, I'm now having, like, a piece of deli meat, and I hate it. I'm, I'm reviling looking at it. Like, it's pepperoni, and I'm just like, fuck. Uh, 
How does it feel to be reunited with Grammy after so long? Well, Lord Servitor with 100 bits <laughs> asking that. How the fuck is that any correlation to what the hell just happened? I mean, I didn't well, because Gra Grammy just came after you. If she did, she would have called. She would have said I was the secret ingredient. You were. That's why she stole part of your soul. Aren't you seeing how it all comes together? Zito, you're um, still in the simulation. Burnout Vaughn, thank you for the 100 bits. How did She My Cherry Pie become a horror theme for this campaign? I don't know. Uh, Killer Chansey with the episode title Live and Let Pie. Thank you for the 10 bits. It's not bad. Nice. Uh, Blackfoot Fair, thank you for the leap bits. Are people who really like pies pie romancers? No, gastro Jack gastromancy, dude. Come on, keep up. Oh, my gosh. No, I think it's because pie romancer. No, I know. I know, but still... I, I, I had to get my gastronomic joke out of here somewhere, dude. I'm back. I'm just crunching real quick. And by no, the way, if we, don't, if we don't call this episode Soul Food, I will be very disappointed. That's also good. Uh, that's Kiwi, also a good thank one. you so much for the 100, uh, 200 bits. It was the second day of my internship today. And it's been going really well, so take some bits. Well, thank you. Congratulations. Yeah. Gauze with the five bits. Gaius, no, my soul, come back. I need you for fights. No, please, come back. I need that. No, seriously, this is my... No, no, voice. no, seriously, I'm actually quite pissed. Get back here. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Uh, pretty, you're gonna have to, you, pretty soon you're going to have to be doing the HK47, like, statement. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Statement. I will eliminate you, meat bag. Statement. Uh, Punch things. Declarative noun. <laughs> Defiant Fresh statement. Thought Neanderth no, you didn't. <laughs> oh, snap. Fresh thought Neanderthal. Thank you for the 500 bits. Grug saw mate skull in museum. How you we going? Aw. Well, I hope it was somebody you liked, or maybe you didn't like them, in which case it was good to see their skull on a stick somewhere. Be right back. Manic Scarecrow, thank you for the title suggestion of Eat Me. We also appreciate the 1,500 bits. Lord Servitor, thank you for the 100 bits. I bet Gaius Pie would have a strong flavor with a nice punch. Oh, boy. Uh, also, the poll just ended. Chat, would would you have eat? I'm sure there's more to that. Would you have eaten those pies is the rest of it. Nah, give me dice. Fair enough. Remember, folks, we are sponsored by Die Hard Dice. We don't condone eating your dice, but you're free to do whatever you want. Uh, Matt, Tom, thank you for the 100 bits. Can't believe no one said pie hard dice. Uh, Callum draws with the 20 bits. Gaius pie topped with ghoul whip. Oh, jeez. Sorry, I went to go get a snack. Um, you now all realize that Gaius now has a fear of chefs. That's bad news, buddy. Yeah. I know. <laughs> it's unfortunate that you travel with one. I know. It's gonna oh be my god, amazing. you're gonna make him toast in the morning and he's just gonna ah. <laughs> no, I'm gonna I'm, I'm gonna scream like a like a screaming goat. Ah! Oh yeah. <laughs> ah! Just Usher Milo goat. holding a knife. Gaius, what do right. you want in your souffle? Uh Mike, and thank you so much for the hundred bits. I never thought Milo would be more scared of a pie baker than Iskan after this whole campaign. Oh no, Iskan's fucking terrified. Yeah, but he, not as much as Milo. He uh, did Strife not. He, in, he activated fight instead of flight. Strife the dark, fifty bits. So they are a gastronomic chef. Okay, this ah, is a stretch. That's pretty. This good. is this. This is a stretch. Uh, I'm gonna try and pronounce this correctly, but I've looked up what the fear of cooking is. Okay. And that would be an amazing name for this episode. <laughs> uh huh. Hold on, I'm gonna I'm gonna uh, see pronunciation real quick. Majerocophobia. Uh, bless you. Yeah, thank you. <laughs> oh, we're casting spells now? Got it. Yeah. Uh, it has the word mage in it. Let's see. We've got Killer Chansey with 10 bits. Bosco, if Remy's soul had gotten made into soul food, what do you think it would be? Fried chicken. Easy. Uh, fr yeah, boom. Fresh Thought Neanderthal, thank you for the 500 bits. Grug, eat what Grug want. Fight Grug about it, Bosco. Bosco, no fight Grug. Bosco, think Grug very smart. Uh, plus plus Bosco, Bosco Berry Picker Tribe. Damn. 
Bosco, Bosco, no like Monty. Monty be dumb doo doo head. Shin, thank you for the 50 bits. Yeah, Gaius not is another picker. halfway for. Gaius is another halfway for being soulless. This is the Bosco halftime show. How dare you? Mike, <laughs> thank you for the 100 bits. Zito, what is the fear of making Gaius angry called? Bleedophobia. <laughs> ah, very nice. Chair of Folding, thank you for the 200 bits. Starting my second shift for my double today. Glad to have you guys help me through it. Yeah, you fuck up that double shift chair. <laughs> Doubles suck. Yeah. Oh, my goodness. We just had a huge couple of donations. Uh, Elizabeth, thank you for the $200 donation to Artsy's Fund. Ooh, wow. We really appreciate that. Five uh, minutes ago. Justin. Justin, thank you for the $25. And Antoine, thank you for the $19. We are now at $75.75. So that's $7,575 for good old Hartsy Farsy Dartsy. Hell yeah, thank you. That's $679 uh, past the funny number. Correct. Damn. Sorry, we actually, 579. While we, were playing, while we were playing Halo last night, we did reach exactly 6969. We have a screenshot nice. of it. We laughed very hard on stream, and then someone put us over the threshold. But it was great. Uh, Gauze, thank you for the five bits. What's he cooking? Uh, I don't know. I can't smell it. Uh, you mean the rock? Correct. Mm. Probably uh, I, I, was, I was about to make a very bad joke. <laughs> Y'all, I just showed up. Hey, look, it's Artsy Fartsy Partsy Hartsy. Yo! Uh, yeah, hey. 75, 75. You better be resting, by the way. The boy himself is in the chat. Aww, uh, by the way, Monty Artsy. mentioned it. Monty mentioned it at the beginning of the stream. But even if you can't donate any funds to the uh, uh, the GoFundMe, Artsy does have a very cute looking dragon character. That if you are an artist and would like to sketch something out and send it to them, I just so happen to have a Twitter that you could use to do so and show it to them. And I'm sure they would not in any way blush over all of that support. So I'm just gonna go ahead and drop this into the chat right there. Get and then it. if you did decide you wanted to do something for the GoFundMe, I'm gonna go ahead and just drop this in the chat. You can go ahead and do that if you want to, and in shout no out. way will he blush at all. Shout out to Zidlita who said, he's breached containment. <laughs> that is true, <laughs> he has. I hope you're doing okay, Zidlita, buddy. get him back in the cage. Miss Send you. Me love, Heartsy. Yeah. We, gotta, we gotta find his, uh, the reference sheet of his character, of their character real quick, sorry. Yeah. Uh, Artsy says, thank you guys so much. Like, seriously, you're all the best. Uh, also, Lord Server, thank you for the 100 bits. If Milo had a signature dish oh, besides Sun Artsy. Toast TM, what would it be? What's up? Artsy says, I'll be heading home tomorrow. Okay, Yay. awesome. Oh, nice. Hey. All right. Hey. That's good. Deal. Fantastic. So, uh, so Halo night, right? I'm ready, oh, let's go. God. Give him That's some Tuesday. time, Bosco, Let's go. Please. That's a whole week away. Speaking yeah. of time, is everybody week. is everybody ready yeah. to go? Yeah. I got one oh, more yeah, quick bro. bit drop. This is from uh, Phil Lane with 245 bits. Got some good news today, and it's stream day. Tis a good day. Get well, Art. Ah, well, there you go. Yeah, I'm good to go. And All also, right. Artsy's mom says thank you. Aww. Tell her we said you're welcome. Yeah, yeah. tell her we said. <laughs> That's yeah, yes, that. that that exactly. I yeah, said I I, I I echo that. <laughs> How do you spell it? Uh, oh, yeah, see, uh, see, it's A R R. Oh, <laughs> I guess right. everyone's favorite letter. All right, children. <laughs> yes, mom. I'm older than you. I'm older than all of not you. Not in this house. Not, not, not in in D and D times. She just siphons your age. First our soul, now our age. <laughs> all right. So, Why am I suddenly as you all. 11? Rest for the night and awaken the following morning. It's also worth pointing out, Milo, I don't think you can make your sun toast because there's no sun here. <laughs> You've had oh, to do it before. That's oh, classic. okay. It's also, it's also, the feat isn't relevant to Right, sun. right, right. It's just, it's just a funny flavor. Movie. That was flavor that's because right, right. Gaijin is a great role player and a tremendous <laughs> voice actor. <laughs> it's flavor. And speaking of... Um, Bonus uh, two, two temp HP for myself and Gaius if he's not terrified of cooking. Ah! Okay. <laughs> no food. I'll like, never oh, eat another thing again. Uh, no, just like hold on, let me get it out of my system. Ah! Okay. But I no, just don't. Eat how? Why would you say that about Artsy's whatever? All I'm right. Just... <clears throat> As you guys proceed forward in the dawn, 
question mark? <laughs> a lot of time space. Uh, <laughs> Into the legally guys, distinct darkness. Your wound is kind of itchy, but you no longer feel the effects. <laughs> oh, of no. The... It's infected. I, Bosco, I, I, like, I like the idea of this being legally distinct dusk. I like that so much. It is. It is. <laughs> it itches. It, it itches, can't be itches, dusk. Itches, it's itches. the morning. It's legally distinct. How do you know? Tell that, tell, yeah, tell that to the fucking climate. Moving on. Moving on. Uh, speaking of moving on, you guys get a move on. And as you continue throughout the day, kind of going over the rolling hills seeing the various derelict looking uh forests and buildings uh you do notice on the ground um some tracks specifically wheel tracks ah. Ah. which you probably can deduce belong to a certain caravan that you ran into yeah yeah, yeah. as well as some smaller wagon tracks Oh, there are people actually attempting to come through here, huh? That's good. Yeah, we told we've them, seen them to. before. Right, but the other set of tracks, I mean. Yeah, mm. no, we, we told people, like, hey, travel is going to be opening up. So. Monty, is there any way to determine whether they were moving quickly or slowly based on displacement of dirt and debris? Survival check. That would be the way to discern it. Kia. 15. Again, time is weird here, and since there's no movement at all in terms of the wind and weather, it's kind of hard to tell. What you do are able to gauge with your survival check is it, this was not pulled by an animal. It was clearly pulled by, like, a person. Mm. You can see footprints in the ground. Um, in terms of the speed... When it kind of goes slightly downhill, you can tell they put on the brakes with their feet, and there's a bit of a slipping and sliding sort of look to it. But it seems to be at, like, a moderate pace. Okay. Yeah. So they weren't jumped or anything. That was the worry. Yeah. It seems to be fine. But as the day continues, nothing eventful happens, and dark comes to you once more. Cool. Let's do it again. Let's All go right. again. One more time. E scan. Yeah. Oh no, the cart ghost. <laughs> Why won't you eat my cart? <laughs> uh, natural one. Oh natural boy. One. Total of seven. You fall asleep. <laughs> awesome. But you all wake up and again, check your faculties, check everything. And you do again see those footprints standing next mm. to everybody. Uh, have they increased in number? Ah, uh, it no, like it's just a, a single set per person seems to be the case. Uh, question. Here's a question. Are they the same? Okay. Do they appear to be the same footprints? Or are they different? Um, I mean, between check. each place. That'll be a survival. survival check with a decent check, because it's kind of hard to tell. Uh, that is pretty decent. They seem to be of a similar size but you're not sure if it's the same set but they do seem to have a similar size to them i i i just now want to imagine that they're just like fresno night crawlers just like standing over us the whole time but they would have to walk to get there and leave <laughs> I know, that's so we'd like... see tracks you see pants monty question <laughs> uh-huh have we noticed though did we notice those particular footprints when we were attacked or the night after that we were attacked? Did we notice it before that at any point? No. Okay. They, so far, they only seem to have shown up when no one was awake for a watch. Well, we were awake for a watch, weren't we? Not no. this past night. Not I this. was, I was oh. the first watch and I fell asleep. <clears throat> so. You guys wake up kind of mm -hmm. late into the day you're not sure how late because again time is weird here what is time so, you guys gather your things and continue on your way mm -hmm. go north north go north. i don't have my notes because they're in my busted drive so yeah, i'm trying to remember what, what that f was i thought was that was a three was it a f three f in chat <laughs> f's in <clears throat> chat for gaijin's notes that's not the um, the temple, is it? No, the temple is here, where I put the sun. Oh, gotcha. That makes sense. 
Yeah, yeah. Uh, or is this that? No, the the busted up shack with the crazy the undead. Scary house is the red here. dot. Yeah. 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 That was that that was the, that was the kill house. I don't remember what this is. We're about to find out now, ain't we? You guys proceed as normal. Uh, yeah. Yeah, yeah. I, yeah, I suppose so. Milo. Uh huh. Can you make a dexterity saving throw for me, please? No, I'm uh -oh. short and bad yeah. at this. See, I'm bad at this. Eight. All right, as you guys are walking, you suddenly hear a whoosh, and you watch as Milo's leg gets snared and he is thrown up into the air and is bobbing on a line. He appears to have walked into a rope trap. Oh, uh, can someone get me down? You hear a bunch of clattering as his pots and pans fall to the ground out of his backpack. <laughs> boing, 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 boing. I didn't realize he had uh. so many. Otho is, is skating uh, uh, all around them to see if if this is some sort of ambush. Let me, all right. Let me... Uh, As you, uh, okay, yeah. two people who would like to go first. Sorry. Go ahead, Zito. I was about to say, I have Mirthful Leap. I'll just leap my ass up and cut the rope. All right, you leap your ass up and you cut the rope. Uh, does anybody catch Milo or you just let Milo drop? I certainly rock? try, yeah. Like grab his leg? Uh, I, I, I don't want to catch him unless it's in a power bomb. Okay. Dare. <laughs> As you cut you the rope, Gaius. Uh, Better yet, a I need, cutter. I need you to make me a dexterity saving throw, Gaius. As the tree, like a slingshot, is now loosened and launched, and E scan dexterity saving throw for me as well for both of you. What? Not twenty. Not twenty. You hold onto the tree as it whips back and forth until it settles finally back into place. Uh, e scan nineteen. You dive underneath Milo and catch him before he falls on his pots and pans. Limbo lower now! Uh, Let's go! Oh. It uh. is then that you all remember what this area was. You had found a zombie caught in a similar oh, trap yeah. flailing at you. Oh, yeah. It seems that whoever came by here set it up again. Well, they're going to be set the traps when they find out they... They almost caught. It's the day they almost caught Milo Brightbeam. <laughs> Not today. <laughs> uh. Hits the floor, pulls out a cigar. I'm back, baby. <laughs> <laughs> All right, well, that was herring. Uh, thank you, my hero. Yeah, don't mention it. Oh, yeah. God, you're so heavy. Otho, as you're kind of looking around, do a survival check for me, Otho. All righty. Oh, it's coming. <laughs> there it is. Uh, 22. 22. You notice those smaller tracks, those cart tracks with the footprints, actually have more movement here. You get the sense that whoever set this trap up was the same person pulling this cart. <coughs> hmm. I think whoever our <coughs> cart tracks belong to is also the one who's resetting these traps. Well, they're going to be disappointed that I set that one off, then. Well, it's no business of ours. Where oh, do the she tracks go? They seem to continue northward down the direction you're going. Ah, excellent. I've got a few guesses. Our merry group of smugglers might have taken their hold back in Pulmonata. We'll just have to see. What would that have to do with setting traps for zombies? Defense. I mean, I guess. Well, I gather I our... Go ahead, sorry. No, oh, no, no, I was going to say, I, I, I guess we just keep moving forward. Yeah, as I was about to say, I'm going to gather up my pots and pants and things and... Manu and, and, and <laughs> clang, clang, make... clang, clang, clang. <laughs> <laughs> as you guys clang, continue clang, on clang, for the clang, night, you make clang. camp because the dark comes once more. Ah, darkness. Darkness falls across me. the land. The e night hour is close at hand. And Eastgan rolls his perception. Will he fail? No, it's 20 win? Uh, I thought eight, it was 8. Actually. Oh, it's 8 because I have to... No! <laughs> 8. All right. <clears throat> Damn it. It was almost a funny number. Your watch goes without a hitch. 
I will wake up me. Milo. Yeah. I had to remember who's next. Here we go. God <laughs> damn it! Are you kidding me? Yo, the goblin who's on stilts putting down boot tracks is getting a real workout today. <laughs> That's he walks by. He fell asleep again? God damn it! I can't control the rolls. Okay, for anyone, okay, time out. Because this got my goat in season one. For anyone who wants to give me shit in the comments, I cannot control these rolls, all right? I guess it's just we, we, we all like acclimatized ourselves to Martorallo and being back in Easton Vale is just reminding us of how incredibly awful it is here. We're all just exhausted all the time. All right. This is great. I want to go to actual sleep now. <laughs> I want to sleep in Minecraft. Actual <laughs> real life sleep in Minecraft. In Minecraft. <laughs> I want to. I want to dig two holes down and then wait for the sun to come up. <laughs> Apparently, we're all crabs, and the world Let's keeps see. setting off crabs. I'm going to randomly decide who wakes up here first. Okay. Brad. Gaius. Hooray. You kind of bleary eyed blink away. You hear a noise. You hear, like, a, a shuffling, kind of the sound of, like, moving objects, pots and pans, and just crunching like someone's eating crackers or something. Oh god, is someone eating me? And as well, you oh. kind of blink awake, you turn up and you see a Black Panther tabaxi currently eating what appears to be one of your rations. I looks down at you and goes, Morning, Buttercup. You guys are, um, heavy sleepers, as it were. I'm debating if I want to cross-check this man into a fucking headlock. You mean this wake, lady? Uh, the... Wake up at level three, Zeta. Wake up yeah, with I level want three. to wake up at <laughs> level <laughs> three. <laughs> it is good to see you again, my friends. It has been some time, quite a few weeks. It seems you've been busy. Oh my god, wait. Wait, wait. God, nope, God, nope, Gaius is not saying anything. He's glaring daggers. The rest of you all begin to rouse and wake up. <sighs> Arise, we have guests. Oh, my oh neck. did we? Did oh, we? I did. The, oh, I did it again. It happened once more. This place is putting us to sleep. Oh, I hated and it so much. How much of my food did, was eaten? Uh, it seems like each of them ate one ration, so uh, I would say right off one of Milo's rations, one of Otho's rations, and one of Iskan's rations. There's three of them, so they took one each. Cool. As, Otho will remember this. As he wakes up, <laughs> Iskan will kind of squint before pulling on his goggles, and upon seeing their face clearly, wait, is that Zoe? Ah, you remember my name. I very much appreciate that. John, the uh, the dwarf kid, he's like younger, kind of goes, I didn't shoot you this time. No, but you seem to be eating our food, which is almost just as bad. Ah, we got a little peckish in the middle of the night, but we kept you safe. You're welcome. <sighs> August, give it back. It is not ours. And you watch as August has Kai's satchel and tosses it to Kai. <laughs> 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 Seems like we're not the only ones bringing in interesting things into Eason Vale. Hmm. Kai is going to clutch it and glare at him. Hiss like a gargoyle. <laughs> we have made mention that due to some actions that Eason Vale might see a little bit more light. Have many people actually traveled through here? Only my people. My people. And she uses quotation marks. The Grey Shroud Smuggler Ring benefits greatly to Eason Vale's current despair. And I will not hey. lie. If Lady. any within a... Yes, that is me. None of you touched this, right? Oh, well, I did some perusing, but touching is remains to be seen. Oh, Check your shit. Yeah. G Kai is going to start going through the bag and make sure everything's there. 
All right. You guys look at the bag. everything, do you mean the orb? <laughs> that is one of the things that is in there. The orb appears to be untouched. Uh, the rest of you guys look at your stuff. The rations are missing. Um, that's basically it. But you can tell just for your passive investigations, I would say, mm. um, that they clearly went through your shit. Oh my god, I check all the maps to make sure I'm, none of them I'm were checking my to fucking it. book to make sure it has nothing else written in it. You check your book, <laughs> nothing else is written in it. Jarn, uh, Jarn kind of looks towards you, the, the dwarf kid goes, I like your book, it's, it reads very nicely. Gaius blushes and looks at the side. Ugh. I'm trying. Are my maps okay? Yeah, your maps are fine. Okay, don't mess with the map. So, did you need something from us or something? No, we actually are here to do favor for you. And that is, besides eating our food? Well, that's just a small cost, I think. There are two things we are here. One, we are here to warn you, and two, we are here to uh, inform you. All right, oh. so... Go ahead, sorry. No, 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 I was about to say, of what? First is to inform you. We ran into your um, friend, we'll say the word then. Your friend, the dead woman, who we know quite well. Aye. She wanted us to parlay a message to you if we encountered you on the road, considering that we are heading down the southern road now. And she says that she is going to Banyar's Bend. She had something she needs to collect there, and she'll meet you there. Where is this? Do you have a map? <laughs> <laughs> that was a stupid question. <laughs> she leans over, kind of finishes, and like kind of like licks off her thumbs with the ration, and she points a pointed finger right here. So further north, then. Indeed, it is also a place where there are many gray shroud members. Will they be as accommodating as you have been? That depends, and here comes my warning. We, well, I am not very stupid. In August, the tiefling turns and kind of gives her a curt look. He goes, two of us are not stupid. <laughs> <laughs> we are assuming a lot. We are assuming what you're up to. And it goes without saying, if what you're doing comes to fruition... The Grey Shroud will scramble like rats out of the sinking ship. That is to say, it is not good for our business, you see. Why wouldn't it be? Because we benefit from Eastonvale being in the state that it is. Our business, pretty obviously, and she gives a glance towards you, Otho, she meets your glance is not exactly the most legal thing one can argue. Yes? And here there are no laws, no rules. Nothing preventing you from doing what you do. And any investigator <laughs> can't really investigate a zombie biting out his jugular now, can he? Is there a way I to... I suppose not. Is there a way to circumnavigate through the shroud without them knowing where we are knowing where who is what I, what are you talking about i don't understand how do we get from here to there without being detected you don't mention your deal with the dead woman and you keep things that are hidden and she looks towards you kai kai's just gonna glare at her i'm doing you a favor you could at least be slightly happy about it I thought this was a transaction. You did take our belongings, after all. I took a ration or two. Come on, snacks on the road. Listen. So, no, go on. I was just gonna ask. Why, why do this work? It's so dangerous out here. <laughs> do you think that the Ash Plague has only struck this place so severely? Where else did it hit, then? You watch as Zoe kind of looks towards the other two, and John kind of looks down a little bit, like, kind of saddened, and August just seems to be ignoring you. And Zoe turns. I will not speak on the affairs of my companions, but for me, 
I come from north of here, in the Asulai. One of the oh. major rivers there was poisoned after the Ash Plague. Everything around it died. Humans have a saying, desperate times come for desperate measures. And I was desperate for any work I could find. And so here I am. But I'm not a fool. I know this is not going to last forever. But my companions, <laughs> along with the Great Shroud, will not believe such platitudes. They'd rather see nothing changed, even if I have to kill to make it so. That is my warning to you. Gaius puts a firm hand on her shoulder. What do you mean, dead? What I mean <clears throat> is that the river no longer sustains life and came with it an ireful and strange curse. This is how the Ash Plague operates. It is a disease on the land. It manifests in different ways. And for me, it made my home unlivable. If and we work were hard to find. If we were able to cleanse this river, would you go back home? I don't know about home, but... Don't worry about me. I have my own plans. Your dead woman friend is very persuasive. Her name you know, is Lynn. Ah, yes. <sighs> Lynn. You know, for what it may or may not be worth, and I know it may not be worth much to your friends up to the Northwest, but we want to do this to make everybody's lives better. Yes, but you must understand that many members of the Grey Shroud have been there since before the Ash Plague, and they will not see it so. Yes, some people don't want everybody's lives to be better. Precisely. They theirs. Ah, finally, my friend, something we can agree on. So there it is. So you know of. <clears throat> go ahead. Okay, go ahead. Nope, go. You know what? No, I want to. I want to wait until everyone else has their conversations finished, because I'll I'll wait towards the end. I had one more thing I wanted to do. Do it. Well, Zoe, for what's worth, if it'll help you, then here, just take. I just want you to take this. Uh, I'll just give her a gold, because no, she no, 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 she no. gave us good information. Money unchecked is money that uh, stirs up suspicion. As far as I'm concerned, this conversation never happened. And my bellies are full by circumstance. Yeah, yes? also, are we just going to ignore that they've basically been watching over us and went through all of our stuff? Ah, yes. We've been surrounded by several footprints whenever we wake up. I'm assuming that was you. No, that was not us. You fall asleep here by yourself. Something watches you. We don't know what Something. it is something you have as good as a guess as I have well, if there's there are anything... rumors some say it's the old guard of Eastendale's castle others say that it's the restless spirits congealed watching over enviously over life some say it is the people who put the curse upon this place and it's all rumors and hearsay but what I know is this those footprints cannot exist where a conscious man lives. So, as far as uh, getting to Benir's Bend, how exactly do we get inside without them bothering us about our business? Most of the time, if you do not bother them, they will not bother you. You are not the only vagabonds making your way through Eastonvale. They are cutthroats and criminals, people who are wanted. They find their way here, and if the zombies don't get them, they might be lucky and get to Benir's Bend. And if they have made it to Benir's Bend, they are people you don't want to mess with in the first place. You but understand? They... I understand that, but will they let people through? Generally, yeah. All right. She kind of leans forward and she points towards the river. If you're going to make it over the river, you have to go through the Twin Sisters Bridge. Currently, it is a Grey Shroud stronghold. They use it as a sort of um, crossroads. You can pay for lodgings there if you want to, but any more than that, and they made demand more payment. They, like I said, the Grey Shroud is smart enough to know their own business and keep to their own, but don't give them a reason to become curious. That is my advice. 
Is our group's composition enough reason? Ah, we've seen weirder people. I mean, we're not exactly a um, beauty contest winners ourselves now, are we? That's good to know. Argus kind of pulls up a bag and goes, speak for yourself. <laughs> let's see, let's see the prize ribbon. I want to see the beauty contest winner, August. I like you, Zoe says. She kind of leans back and she smiles, this big, white, toothy grin. You're interesting and you're changing things and that makes me very excited. It's just the three of them there, right? Yes. Well, if you won't take that, at least you can take this. I'm going to give the... I'd, I'd like to offer them each one ration. You'll take that easily. She takes it without hesitation. Something to keep you going. It's appreciated. That's the thing about relationships like this. You scratch our back, we scratch yours. And when I say our back, I'm not talking about the Grey Shroud. No, as I'm far aware. as it's concerned, all of this business is between friends. The three of us and the five of you. Yes? That's the way I see it. Can Good. I uh, ask you a favor? <clears throat> a favor to come with costs, but go on. Are you going to be staying in this area for a while? No, we have business in the south. In the south? Hmm. Perhaps some need... slack to pick up. <laughs> uh, no, just goods to pick up. How far south? Uh, two or three days, maybe. Maybe more. Depends. We're not leaving Eastonvale, if that's your concern. Okay. Uh, well, never mind then, I guess. All right then, so I guess it's to the Twin Sisters Bridge then. <clears throat> yeah, I guess so. I, I want the rest of the party to walk off before Gaius looks uh, to Zoe. Okay, I'd do that. I, I, I'm i going to hold myself back. Uh, Kai is going to gather his stuff and as people are walking off, he's going to... Are they all in the same area? Yeah. Um... As he's passing by them, he's going to turn to all three of them. You know, humans have another saying. It's curiosity killed the cat. Ah, but satisfaction brought it back. Says the Don't worry, I'm learning how to make sure that what dies stays dead. So consider this my warning for you, because they can hand you as much catnip as they want. You made your point. But don't ever do it again. Because the last time somebody took something that meant a lot to me, I put them in the ground. He's going to walk off. Tell the dead woman that this is only the start of good things. Her name is Lynn! Nah, eh, Lynn, yeah, of course. <laughs> you truly are from VSLI? I am, yes. Apparently a year has passed since I've heard anything. I need current news. I need to know the state of affairs. Are you from Viasulai, my friend? Comfortably, that's all I believe I can tell you, yes. Hmm. Do you have a what map is your, of Viasulai? Do, oh, do I? No, you don't. You guys don't have a map of the Asulai. No. Guy um, shakes his head no. Are you sure? I, I don't. Well, I don't. I'm double checking. Stand by. I know for certain you do not because I would. you guys would have it in the BTT, so... Not on my possession, no. I didn't believe that I'd be frozen in time for a year. Ha! Huh. Curious. Interesting. Do you know the river Arctuna? History check? Sure. 
History Channel. Seventeen. Thank God, that's zero on the other side. Uh huh. You kind of the name is familiar to it. You remember your parents told you it is the commoner name for the uh, main river that runs through the wood. Specifically, it is the northernmost tip of your home that you know of. It is a Mabel. very wide breath river. Mm -hmm. I I know mm -hmm. of it, the main waterway that leads from the north of the woods. Indeed. When Blightwing flew overhead past Eason Vale, he crests over Arctuna, poisoning it. And now anything that grows from its waters is unnecessarily strange and hostile. The fish are all dead, and there's an air of strangeness, is all I can truly say. People getting sick, people wandering into the woods and never coming back, curses, fatigue, disease, you name it. It is all stemming from this river. And I tried to make myself to the main city of the Asulai, and, well, that is a very long, complicated story that has led me to this place. But, not to stir fear in your heart, but it is not looking good. Gaius shows her his battle axe. Does anyone with this make travel around? Did they move? Surely those from the wood didn't stay stationary. Were you from the north of this river or were you from the south? Shakes his head. I have not seen anything of this make. Once the river was spoiled, I headed north to the capital city. So if this was made there, I did not see it. What will this information offer? I need, like, like, what, what is it? What's your, I'm sorry, I should say that incorrectly. What's your offer for this information? I believe compensation is in order. Hmm. She kind of looks towards you and goes, what is the orb? Guy shakes his head. Commercial, I can grant you. Material, I can grant you. That information, I cannot. Yeah. Then, next time we meet, perhaps, I can give you more information. Perhaps when you see your task complete, there will be no bartering necessary anymore. We can ask each other as friends. She smiles. So long as I have enough time between after this job is done and now a new one I seem to have I have to make. Well, Do you stick with uh, Linda and uh, be the beginning of good things? I have many questions now, but as time will move on and as much information as I can offer as well, I... I show her, uh, I, sh I show her a platinum. You see the eyes, like the cat eyes kind of twinkle a little bit. <sighs> Again, would love to take that, but money unaccounted for is money that I are suspicion amongst the Grey Shroud. But hold on to it for me, if on their bound you are. If my family's not dead, there'll be more in it for you. And I walk past her. You and me both, she says. August, John, come now we move. They kind of gather their things. Take care, weary wanderers. I would like to see you again. And please, I cannot make you feel so. I come to you as an ally. But let's also keep that little tidbit on the down low, shall we? Of course. Safe travels. Take care. Let's move. You watch as the three of them begin to move. 
as they vanish into the day? Mm, yeah, question, question mark. mark. <laughs> I assume we're going to move at a uh, diagonal. Wow, pretty sneaky, sis. <laughs> God damn it. <laughs> we can move diagonally, right? You can, yeah. Yeah. Okay, cool. Oh, boy. Connor, we are not Connor. Oh my God! Sorry, force a habit <laughs> today, Mark. We we eh? have to move. We have to move Diagon Alley. No, I see. Illegal. And yes, the river mentioned East Scan. You do not have a map of that gotcha. is not on a main road. You took. Granted, you would know this. Via Sulai is a fucking spider <clears throat> web. Yeah. There are so many ways to travel in Via Sulai that it's really hard to have a consistent map that's even accurate. Gotcha. Yeah. And now with Blight, it's probably even fucking worse! Well, hey, at least there's one consistent landmark now, the Dead River. Great! <laughs> in the back, in the <laughs> back <laughs> of my in the back of my player knowledge, I'm just like, great! <laughs> The evil East Gun is like, your loss is my gain. <laughs> <laughs> Benny, now I have a map to get back. That's great. Good for you. <laughs> and all it cost me was your family. <laughs> Moving along. I hate right. I hate Dark East Can. What the fuck? <laughs> evil what a East bastard. Can. <laughs> Right. As you guys continue on, you begin to see yourselves walking on the river's edge. What kind of... It's steep. I'm just going to put it out right now. It is carved clear through the stone here and is made for a very rough, uh, like, incline or decline. Yeah, decline. Mm -hmm. um, into a very wide and vast river. You can see peppered in the center is, like, these sort of, like, small islands i guess but the water is so tumultuous and violent that it would be impossible to get there and as it makes sense you don't see any like structures built upon these areas at all uh but up ahead you do see a large bridge do we and need a oh, sorry no. oh, do we need a bed down before we make our way there are we close enough? Uh, or... Night is creeping on you, so you guys can either try and forge ahead, or you guys can rest and go there in the morning. Uh, I'd vote rest, go there in the can, morning. Can we gauge how long it'll take us to get there currently? Probably half a day's travel. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah. Let's probably stop for the night. Same watch as I assume. Yeah, let's try not to fall asleep this time. Uh... Mark. <laughs> I mean, Come you're welcome to. I just have to roll less then. What? I said you're welcome to go to sleep. I'll just roll less. It's fine. <laughs> I gotta tell you, this is really great. <laughs> Here we go. Here we go. Uh, 11. 11. Let's go. It's interesting. Nothing happens. But it's interesting because you can finally hear something in the middle of the night, which is the sound of the river. Is but it like a you... raging river or more gentle? No, it's angry. It's gotcha. angry and gray and mean. It has an angry face. <laughs> <It's> just... <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you look down at the river and you see a pair of googly eyes staring at you with angular eyebrows strapped to the top. Exactly. Malicious intent. But you do not spot anything on your watch. Cool. Hey, Monty. I love the way Hi. you said that. Uh, I know I'm going to be asleep the whole time, but considering what just happened, Kai will be sleeping with the orb in his hand. You got it. <laughs> Can you at least keep it in the bag and just put, put the bag Can in Can you keep your, your balls in your bag, please? Don't you mean my sack? This is not a sure. bowling tournament. Leave it in the bag. Anyway, I'll wake up Milo. We've got the biggest balls of the balls. <laughs> All right, uh, my turn, I assume, Monty. Your turn. Yep. Not performance. Nope. Seventeen. Seventeen. I didn't sleep this time. Milo, as you look off into the distance towards the bridge, you do notice like amber light. 
coming from the bridge. I assume those would be really far distant torchlights. It seems like, yeah. Yeah. Okay. Well, at least we might be close enough that we're not going to get jumped by anything. Otho, it is now your watch. I am now the cart ghost! Except the locals. <laughs> God damn it. I'm sorry! It's so <laughs> I just... I was playing with my rubber band, and when you said that, I, like, <laughs> lost control and flung it into the distance, and I have no idea where it is. Good. <laughs> Goodbye, sweet prince. It's just... Beware! I'm sure the locals would have no qualms about jumping us in the middle of the night. They already have. Is it coming? I'll roll. Oh, it's coming. Are you shifting? Sure. Okay. Shifting. I'm gonna get shifty. I'm going cat. Shit on the floor. <laughs> <laughs> hey! That's a natural twenty other way. Yo! Wow! Nice. Danger is close, and Otho is aware. <laughs> Otho, as you perch yourself on a rock, you do notice the same amber lights that Milo noticed. And in the far distance in that direction, you hear like a clanging of a bell, but it's like really far away. And you see those torch lights kind of moving around quite a bit. And then eventually the clanging goes away and like the torch lights kind of like seem more stationary for a while. Beyond that, your watch goes without a hitch. I'll wake up our, our last one. The last of us. us. The last of us. I, I wake Gaius. up. I, I wake up our Joel <laughs> Gaius. Salute. Excuse me, I'm so sorry. All right, Gaius, go ahead and roll a perception check. Wake Let, up, Pedro. Let's fucking go. Thirteen. Thirteen. Do you have dark vision? No. That's why Six I four. took. The, that's why I took the morning, so I wouldn't have to deal with this. Right. That's right. You're morning. Yeah. Okay. You see towards the bridge, like a, not thick, but like a plume of smoke, kind of. Hmm. Uh, can I surmise that it is, like, obviously man-made? Yeah, you're able to survive as man-made, but the smoke is not, like, wood smoke. Hmm. It looks like something else, because it's not consistent. It's not very smoky, either. Okay. So, spotted some kind of smoke. All right, cool. Well, uh, as long as it doesn't draw near, I won't, like, get everyone awake, but I will keep my attention towards it to see if there's any, like, like huge changes. They're burning the hobbits at Isengard. They're burning them? They're burning the hobbits, them? The hobbits, the hobbits. All right, the rest of you all wake up now as Gaius's watch ends. Smoke off in the distance, over towards the bridge. Spotty, mm. but signs of life. Uh, I surmise that they got into a fight last night. Probably some zombies wandered in. It wouldn't shock me if they were burning bodies. Uh, Monty, can I do a silly thing? Sure. I would like to smell the air to see if it's uh, of charred corpse smell. Unfortunately, ah, you are from the mark book. I see you are <laughs> way too far away for that to work. Right. Yeah, okay. you guys are a fair distance away. I wish to smell the musk of dead fucking <laughs> flesh. <laughs> this gives me plentiful amounts of perception possibilities. <laughs> All right, let's go. <laughs> Jeez. Unfortunately, they didn't season the flesh, so you can't smell. The, the exquisite aroma uh, of hair on fire makes me all <laughs> kinds of giddy. I'm getting hints of thyme, rosemary, and <laughs> flesh. 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 Yeah. All right. You guys proceed forward. To yep. the bridge we go. Okay. As you guys proceed forward down the hill towards the bridge, no perception checks are necessary. You all smell it as you get closer. Uh, yeah, burning hair and flesh. Nice. Uh, Frank, yes, Frank Cron. 
you begin to see the actual uh, structure of this bridge. It is a massive stone bridge um, that is flanked by two large kind of rook like towers, like large towers. But it appears to be uh, wooden buildings that have been built around. They're a little bit more ramshackle, though. <clears throat> and despite it being midday, you can still see torch fire kind of in various different spots on these towers. And as you guys proceed forward, do you guys approach? Yep. Yep. Yeah, might as well. We don't have All much right. of a choice. As you begin to approach, you watch Try as not coming to look from. Vulnerable. As you guys kind of approach, coming out from a brush, kind of to your left, that makes you all jolt, walks out a large and massive turkey. Oh. Is it an undead turkey? Uh, it looks very alive. Okay. I saw this the episode. Of turkey can be. No, I saw this episode of South Park. I don't trust this. <laughs> Go on. Is there something we could do for you? No. Oh, okay, good walks away towards the buildings. Well, that was odd. That's the that turkey. first normal animal we've seen in Eastonvale. Like, since at all. The, well, since that other time. Ah, uh, yes. Come on, Mark. That was the shining moment. No, I'm leaving it. I'm not touching it. <laughs> <laughs> not doing it too easy <laughs> as you proceed forward you see uh the two towers currently flapping flags that appear to be of some sort of like hard to discern to so like it's just a gray white framed flag that kind of hangs like a tapestry from one of the windows um it's not buffeted at all because it's there's no wind so it just kind of hangs there um but you do it's notice there is a large pile of corpses being burned currently. And you see currently pushing a wheelbarrow towards it, a ogre. Oh. Oh. Hmm. I see and we're hitting all of Otho's favorites today. And behind him you see uh, two humans, a woman and a man, currently uh, appears to be digging a hole and just like kind of burying body parts right now. Upon seeing the ogre, Kai is going to walk in front of wherever Otho is. Notably, the ogre is missing its left arm. Oh. Good. Oh, poor thing. I, uh, pray, pray, I do not <laughs> alter it, pray I do not alter the ogre further. Um, <laughs> Monty, are there any uh, signs on either the ogre or the two people <coughs> digging um, that they are uh, indentured servants or slaves of any kind. They both look armed to the teeth, so no. Okay. Uh, in particular, the ogre is... It's an ogre. They're very strong. Um, well, he's not two, as armed. Yeah, he's a little wow. disarmed. Wow. He's, de he's humans, definitely disarmed. The humans are wearing, like, not plate mail, but they're wearing, like, a breastplate, and they have swords at their side. Like, they okay. are, you know, pretty well armed. They have maces and stuff, too. <laughs> Let's give him a hand. Guys. <laughs> this is terrible. You also see... The, by the way, the turkey's following you as you look behind yourself. The turkey has been, like, stalking you this whole oh, time. You should take a couple oh, of those turkeys, because in Eastonville, those probably cost an arm and a leg. Oh, my God. Uh, Moving you on. You also see chickens running around and kind of pecking nope. at the ground. I'm leaving. I'm going the other way. <laughs> I uh, you, actually, serious question. I'm going to double check the turkey and make sure it's actually a fucking turkey. Okay, <laughs> insight the turkey, really in or the turkey. Insight or nature, your choice. I will insight this turkey. Uh, utilizing my history oh my of cards. <laughs> That's a natural 20 for a total of 26. Surrender your it's... secrets to me, turkey. <laughs> not, a, not towards you. But its eyes tell you that it's capable of violence. <laughs> <laughs> There's a vacant stare that tells you it's killed before. <laughs> Eastgun will just instinctively step slightly closer to Milo. Oh, what's wrong? 
I'm, I'm just saying, if anything happens, well, you saved me last time, so. And he kind of oh. nods his head towards the turkey. Oh, I don't know. I think it's kind of cute. Can I try oh. handle animal? Sure, Monty. go for it. Not tickle the 18. turkey. 18. Go patronize me, halfling. Uh, <laughs> does a 17 hit you, Milo? Uh, yeah, it does. Okay, you take two points of piercing damage as it clamps to your hand and refuses to let go. Get him off, 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 get him off! Get him off, get him off. Uh, I, I grab the, the, the turkey's beak and just, just sort of try and pull him off of Milo. Okay, roll a strength check, I guess. Athletics strength check, check actually. sure. Athletics, sure. <clears throat> Fifteen. Fifteen? It is still on. You're like oh pulling it and like this... its neck is longer than you think and every time you pull it gets longer. <laughs> oh Jeez. god. I can't believe we're being bested by another freak of strength. <laughs> Everybody, by the way, every single grizzled person, which there are more than just those three, are now currently turning and watching and I would say probably uh <laughs> Uh, I would say Gaius, you overhear one of the guys, this really scrubby kind of looking human guy, go, Oh yeah, they mess with Tom again. That's that funeral. <laughs> Tom the turkey. Tom. All right, he's named, so he's a pet, so I can't kill him. Do I just uh... drag him behind me at this point? <laughs> yeah, if you want to. <clears throat> okay, that's fine. <laughs> drag him with you. We're going to drag him behind me by his head. Until he lets go. And we don't bored. have good luck with birds in this campaign. No, we really. I mean, we have our axe beaks. We were. Yeah, doing Walker good was murderous the like the entire time. Uh, Far from murderous. I'll game. walk you, up to them. Fuck it. Yeah, you walk up to the guy who's kind of pointing. They're all kind of like pointing and chuckling at you guys, just kind of like all oh, these fucking idiots messing with Tom. <laughs> we're not even on his top eight friends. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, that one I am sorry for. Oh. As you should be. <laughs> Is there a way to dislodge Tom? You have to get Steed. <laughs> you have to get, yeah, excuse me. I'm excuse me, that was not the answer I was expecting. What was that? You had to get Steed. Oh, <laughs> Steed. I thought you said you had to get Steve. I'm like, there's a separate turkey called Steve. <laughs> yeah, Steve, he's Another Tom's handler. Steve. Hey, Tom, lay off. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, do what I want, Steve. He's just All a right. kid. Lay off him. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, right. He looks like he's had enough. Okay, where's their seed? <clears throat> Here you go. He hands you like a little handful of like just like seeds. I just nod at him, and I go. I look at the bird. I don't gingerly give it to him. I like toss it at its head. You like do the cautious child toss when you're feeding an animal and they're scared it's gonna bite them sure yeah. enough as you do milo you feel a sense of relief from your hand oh. as tom lets go and then goes over and just like like over aggressively eats the seeds get over here quickly. get over here quickly before it has a taste for flesh again i'm already behind you so are you two uh staying or leaving the lot of you it took just... us half a day to get here, right? About, yeah. So we would not... I can assume we could cross the bridge, but we would only get, like, <sighs> diagonally one square, assuming. You notice that it is currently, like, um, barricaded, actually. There's, like, a wood makeshift barricade going over the length of the bridge. It's a massive bridge, too. Mm -hmm. It could easily fit, like, three wagons, like, across. And it's barricaded. And they've barricaded it, yeah, with wood. It looks like old pieces of housing, old wagons, you know, bits and bobs, like logs and woods that have just been, like, crudely hammered. And there's, like, a small sort of, like, there seems to be various different, like, lengths that can probably open and close, it looks like, with a swinging door. Well, um, could we pay to stay here for the night? Yeah, you have to talk with the captain. Oh, where might we find him? Captain! He just yells. Well, you works. hear like some rummaging and crashing and you watch as like a, a tin tanker kind of falls from a window and clashes into the mud and you see kind of pushing out a massive Leonin man, a, a lion man. Eye patch over cows. one eye, kind of like white fur that goes to like a gray and he kind of leers out and goes, What's all this then? 
God, we have guests. Good, perfect. I'm hungover. I'll be right down. He, he, Otho sort of <clears throat> leans into the rest of the group and, and whispers under his breath, that must be Nikos. What makes you say that? <clears throat> it's the description. I'm just inching my way away from the turkey, just a little sit As you, like, take a step away, the turkey just takes a step towards you. I keep sidling. It's It takes another step. It doesn't seem to be, like, fully approaching. It's just, like, every time you move, it moves. <laughs> it's approaching me. Y you've been marked. This is this is It Follows, but, like, dangerously slow. So you're saying slow. when It Moves, just like that? Okay. When he moves, it moves. You hear some rummaging and then eventually coming down and opening the door, like tying up his pants, <clears throat> comes this massive Leonin dude. He is very, he's not only is he tall, he's like, like a box is the best way to describe him. Squared. Yeah, he's square. He doesn't uh, have all he's blind in over here. <laughs> <laughs> he kind of makes his way over to you and, and, and decently towers over you. I think, Iskan, you have some height on him, but he's still taller than you. The main helps. He kind of looks down all you and goes, I haven't seen you lot before. Yeah, we were just uh, passing through and was wondering if we could pay to stay the night here. That would be five copper for each of you. That's no problem. Very well. We got um, bunks in the other room there. And he kind of points over to the other ramshackle building. I know for you the stables, but it looks like you don't have anything. Hey, Tom! Butter off! <laughs> the turkey yeah. goes away. Sorry, the turkey's got an attitude, but his kill count's better than anyone here, so we keep him around. That's sad. My loco's <laughs> white. <laughs> so nah. does Iska. <laughs> no, nah, no, nah, no, nah, my friend. It's not sad. It's fucked up is what it is. Mm. Very well. <sighs> All right, well, I'm going to pay up my five copper. Yeah, I'll, give me I'll five. Do that. I'll pay mine as well. You have your names... How long you stay in, and what's your business in Eason Vale? I'm just joking. You don't have to answer that last one. Just don't kill anyone, and we won't kill you. Oh, I hadn't planned to. Good. Keep it oh, that way. The answer would have just been survival anyway. Uh, yep. <laughs> just a couple of birds that need to wire to sit on. Uh, he'll say in Thieves' Cant. Noted. We're just passing through, nothing crazy. He kind of turns to you, Othu, and goes, The nests are most comfortable when the feathers are similar. Which basically means, like, <clears throat> cool, we're the cut of the same cloth two. in his eyes. Yeah, two birds yeah. with feathers stick together, essentially. <clears throat> gotcha. All right. All right, so uh, my friend here, he points towards you, Othu, your name? Uh, Gregory. Gregory, got it. Gregory Glincairn. Why is that name familiar to me? Yeah. And, uh, uh, you, the short one. Ah, uh, just Milo's fine. Just Milo. And, uh, <clears throat> what about the beanstalk right here? Goggles. Oh, uh, it's, uh, AJ. Got it. And, uh, Poncho and fluffy hair over here. Nice mane, brother. <laughs> uh, one of us is gonna have to change, he says as he runs his hand oh through his mane. And God. as he does, you just see, like, dirt and, like, crumbs come out of it, and, like, a mouse just falls out and skitters across the floor and vanishes. Just say a brick falls out. <laughs> a bonk. A bear trap. <laughs> Another turkey. Damn it, I was about to I say that. <laughs> Oh, there's Steve. <laughs> <laughs> My God. Uh, Kyle will watch him kind of run his hand through the mane. This is uh, quite impressive. Uh, My name's Bracky. Bracky. That's a terrible name. again, guys. He's not even here to defend himself. You. I, didn't, I didn't pick it. It's just... You know, okay, that's fine. <laughs> and, uh, who's this slab of goat meat right here I'm looking at? Hello? I'm Gaius. 
Nice to meet you guys. Nice to meet you yeah. too. Alright, well, no supper served. You're on your own for that. We also get attacked every now and again, so if we do get attacked, I better not see you cowering under the fucking beds or I'll kill you myself. <laughs> I have 11. <laughs> That's not a joke. I'll fucking kill you if you don't help us. I have 11 ways to kill a man. Good. The turkey has 37. I've seen it all. Um, on I that note... this motherfucking paltry piece of shit. <laughs> on that note, is there anyone that's been hurt or sick or... I've got some capabilities of healing, but I don't uh... want to overstate... I'm pretty good right now, honestly. We've got our own surplus coming in, but it's appreciated. Just don't try to convert my people, huh? <laughs> no, no uh, converting, no converting. Just want to help. We've had a few of you come through. <clears throat> you, men of the cloth. Oh, really? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Several do-gooders want to bury the far-off soils of those who were damned in the lands of Eastern Vale. Oh, the idiots don't realize you need to burn the fucking bodies so they just come right out again. Yeah, we tend to notice that ourselves, actually. Ah, good. Don't waste it here. I'm just gonna give you that little piece of advice. <clears throat> anyway, I'm Captain Nikos. Pleasure I'm to meet you, Captain. Here. Pleasure to meet you, too. <clears throat> You're currently under the protection of the Grey Shroud. We stay out of your business, you stay out of ours. Capiche? That's uh, more acceptable. Good There's no problem, Kerpeach. All right. He kind of turns and does a sharp whistle. Azur! Jay! Come down there. You watch as kind of scampering, like pushing each other through the door. You see two young Kenku children. Uh, you see what appears to be two Jays, birds. Uh, an Azur named J Kinku kind of pushes her way out, and a uh, curl crested J Kinku pushes his way out, uh, or her way out rather. They're both female, and they kind of scamper up towards uh, Captain Nico. So they go, "Oh, this is Captain Nico. So we can help. Yeah, I can help." Show them to the rooms, the barracks, and they kind of turn and look towards you, and they go, "Hi, where are you from?" Oh, we're just from out and about. He kind of like mm. gently paps the back of their heads, like you know, not hurting them, but like da, 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 like knock it off. He goes, "What do we say about the gray shroud?" Right? We don't ask questions. They don't ask questions. There you go. All right, show them to the barracks. They're staying for the night. Follow us, and they kind of scamper over. They're wearing kind of rags, um, very street urchiny looking kids. Mm. And they kind of gesture over to you excitedly. Riffraff, street bird. That doesn't work the same. I don't buy herd. Wait, no, that doesn't work either. <laughs> what? Huh? I was just Moving on. I'm sorry, I panicked. You could have just I, gone I, with that's what I've heard. I, yeah, but I, I didn't have day, 20 didn't seconds either. to think about it. Takes it rather tasty. <laughs> tasty. <laughs> oh. I just, just want to point out. My Captain's notes for note, this. Please don't eat my birds. I don't want to pull like <laughs> I don't want to pull the curtain behind, but I just want to point out like what I have as a list of what's here, and I have you know these people, these amount of uh, general people, the captain named Nikos, who's this, <laughs> and then there's there are two riding horses, ten chickens, and a turkey. Everyone is afraid of. <laughs> <laughs> I just cracked up. See, you basted in chat. <laughs> Get out of, just get out of chat! Dude, this, this, this is, this is the turkey. You got me in there for that reason. Fair this enough. is the turkey that convinced Ben Bonnie, Franklin. Bonnie, what you just described was mid-game Dwarf Fortress. Yeah, basically. Oh. The kids excitedly like run over to the door and like they pull it open like a child with a door that's like way too like big and they like swing with the door swing. Uh, the inside is, um, yep, yeah, it's a bunk room. There's cracks in the walls. Um, there's a dripping on the ceiling, even though there's no rain here for some reason. Hey, it's four walls and a ceiling. I'm cool with it. The bunks are basically old wagons that have been turned into bunk beds. Hey, we've been here before. Let's not set it on fire, please. <laughs> there you go. If you need anything, figure it out yourself, you fuckhead. And it's just like, no, 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 that's the captain says that. That's the captain. The captain said that, not us. Uh, that's fine, that's fine. We got the message. Okay, don't touch anything. Except for, like, your bed. 
but don't touch anything that's not yours or else well, the captain will kill you. Well, thank you both so very much. I'm going to tip them a copper each. <gasps> they both take it and they're like, I don't even know what this is. And they run out. Of the <laughs> <laughs> no. <laughs> no. Why does Milo just pay everyone? I don't because understand. Because he's trying to. You just gave the... two four-year-olds like money, and they have no yeah. grasp of it. Good. No, no, don't buy this. Good. Oh, <laughs> you know what? Go sticks. I don't I'm know. I'm gonna it to Tom. No. A zero. Go long, and they throw Gaijin, it. Guy, guy, you no more liquor for children. You did it once, Licorice, and it's over. Licorice, you twit. Uh. <laughs> Milo oh, just had a long ball? sigh. You know that you know that thing that a lot of clerics do, aka giving money to the poor and destitute. Uh, so they can buy more booze. I get it. Yeah. But please, I'm poor and sick and hungry. I can buy my liquor, or liquor ish. Hey, Monty. <sighs> uh huh. You're fine, guys. Uh, You're fine. Once they're gone, uh, I assume we're all in the same room. You are. As the door slowly creaks to a close, you also notice Tom just staring into the room, and it just eh, closes him <laughs> off. Do, 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 do. Oh, um, I'm, I'm going to attempt to mend the leaky ceiling. Okay. How do you mend the leaky ceiling? With mending. Okay. Uh, it doesn't appear to be something that's broken. It's just the ramshackle nature of this has made it just have a just a natural opening. Cool. Also, uh, the liquid doesn't smell that great. No, I imagine not. Um, begrudgingly, I'm going to take a spare piece of map paper and shove it up into the hole. Okay, you shove the paper up into the hole, and the dripping stops. Oh. Uh, what a waste. Poor children. Well, at least they're safer here than out there. What, uh, so you, you said they were wearing rags, right? Yeah, like linen clothing that was, like, pretty ratty, you know. Are we, like, dead ass, like, just not allowed to fucking move anywhere except for staying here right now? No, you can move around. They just said They're not to touch to anything that's them. not yours. Okay, cool. Cause, there seems uh, to be a very clear don't steal shit or we'll kill you energy here. Oh, that's fair, but, uh... I actually think this might be a logical way for me to uh, benefit from something that we talked about that we couldn't do two sessions ago. A.K.A. hand off some shit. Oh, so I, try and yeah. sell some stuff? Yeah. <clears throat> so, Gaius, uh, I guess in character, will just go, well, I'm in no mood to go to sleep just yet. My curiosity is peaked. I'll be out and about. If anyone wishes to come along while I do bartering, you're more than welcome to. Uh, I'm actually going to be fine here. I'm going to do some prayers and some other clerical things. I, I just, I don't want to go too far out and about in this place. It seems like if you nudge the wrong thing, they'll just take your head. I think I'll stay in the cage for what it's worth. <clears throat> uh, I'll go with you. At least make sure you're getting a fair deal. Money's not what I'm after, but very well. Uh, fucking turkey. I, I, I bang on the door to scare it. <laughs> you fool! You just you see a beak be, come piercing through it. the door. You think it can be feared? <laughs> I, I, listen, Gaius does it. I do. <laughs> it's weird oh. because you don't hear it coming from outside the door. It sounds like it's like occasionally coming out from around the building. Like it's like it's circling oh, around the building. It just fucking echoes like a fucking he's, like... He's doing rounds. This He's is everywhere. like a bro. This is a phasmophobia map. What the fuck? <laughs> Tom, are you here? <laughs> Tom, what? Tom, I I'm speaking into the ghost box. Tom, do you play Minecraft? We, we need to know if you play Minecraft. <laughs> All right, I'm out. Oh, if, if, he's, if anyone else wants to come along, go ahead. Yeah, mm -hmm. Eastgen's going with you. All okay. right, Eastgen, you join Gaius. Watch your pouches. I'm aye, not aye. even taking mine. Cool. So, All right, Gaius. I'm... Gaius and Eastcan, as you make your way out, you see a few individuals just kind of chatting with each other. Most of them are dragging what appears to be, yes, zombified corpses. 
of probably uh, an onslaught from last night kind of being dragged over to the bird pile. Not a ton of them, like you probably count maybe six. Um, but notably, as you're kind of making your way through, you do see like a couple of men kind of looking at one of the bodies, just kind of like shaking their head and going, these things just keep getting more fucked up over time, it feels. Uh, okay, well, since I overheard that, Gaius looks at the corpse and then looks over to them. Uh, as you look at the corpse, it doesn't look like a zombie. It has large serrated teeth, kind of gaunt blue faded eyes, and the fingers are just elongated into these nasty long claws. Not your typical undead, I assume. No, no, no. Weird thing, this thing. It struck one of our men and he couldn't move. With what? I assume the I assumed the, the uh, gnashing claws. Yeah, the claws did it. He got better after a while, but for a second he just seized up for a moment. So, uh, yeah, pretty. He kind of taps the head with their boot. These scary buggers, these ones. You're traveling around. Uh, don't get slashed, huh? I I'll intend I intend not to. How so, fair. Uh, how fair does this place with their armaments? How fair does this place... Is... Stop speaking, speaking fancy-like. Speak clearer. Oh, right. Sorry. My common's a little broken. Um, how well-equipped are you all here? Yeah, pretty well-equipped. Oh, well, as it just so happens, I had a few uh, objects I could offload that could assist with defense or even offense. Uh, if you got interest in trade, you gotta take it up with the captain. Will do then. Well, I look up, I look down at this fucking grievous creature. Uh, are they ill to the idea of me like chopping at this thing with a weapon? Um, not really. They seem to be like they're discerning how to dispose of it right now. Seems to be their general kind of consensus at the moment. I would like. What would I do to chop the hand of this thing? Probably a medicine. Ch Actually, oh, probably oh, I'm survival. Not caring about, uh, survival okay. or medicine to like, because it's 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 attached to the arm and it's you know you don't know how thick the skin is or anything like that. <laughs> I'll I'll take survival because I have a minus one in uh, in anything else. You got it. It, it. While he's doing that, is there any check I could do to try and figure out what this thing is? Religion check. Oh Jesus. Okay. Eleven. Eleven. You go to hack at it. Let's see what happens. Nope. <laughs> nope. Don't have a clue as to what this is. Oh, ugly bastard. Natural one. I have no religion. Where is your god? <laughs> <laughs> I believe in Tom. <laughs> that is my religion. <laughs> you hack away at it and eventually are able to get the hand. It is a hand. It does carry. It is kind of weighty to it. I'd say it's about two pounds. Mm -hmm. But you have a creature hand. Cool. I w that's fine. I'm going to add that to my inventory. You got it. Where'd you get a plus one creature hand? All right. Two LB plus one. I almost called it plus one creature hand. God damn it. <laughs> <laughs> Excuse me, get it right? It's plus one. <laughs> it's plus one. All right. Uh, so with that, uh, I'm, I'm going to basically like observe this thing because I, I have ideas, but at the same time, I can't do anything with them just yet. But I would like to offload uh, some stuff to the captain. Okay. Easy enough. The captain, you head upstairs to his tower. The two little kids seem to be, like, playing guard. They have, like, little sticks that they're using to be guardsmen. And mm -hmm. they kind of stop you, and they're like, Hold it right there! What is your business with the captain? Hello, adventurers. I wish to do trade. Oh, do trade. Well, we have these coins. They hold up the copper they got from Milo. <laughs> what do you offer us in exchange for these coins? I hold the scimitar right in front of them. Not in a menacing Ooh. way. Not in a menacing way, but I like, I basically am like showing a child who's probably smaller than the scimitar itself the weapon. 
How many coins is that? I'll tell you what. I believe your, uh... <laughs> I believe your captain would know that way better than you would. Well, I'm pretty smart. Oh, I'm sure you are. Okay. They open the door reluctantly. <laughs> <laughs> it's like guys, it's like no, I'm not I'm not insulting your intelligence. Okay, fine. <laughs> All right. Uh, as the door is open, you see what appears to be probably was once like a guard's like main chamber, like a like a armament. Uh, that has thus been repurposed as a makeshift, like, office. Uh, you see, intriguingly enough, like, one side of the wall to the left is, like, floor to ceiling filled with, um, uh, what are they called? Oh my god, safes. Like, lock boxes and safes. Ah, okay, sure. On the right side, you see just barrels and crates and things, and some papers that are kind of jutting out of different spots. And you currently see, leaning out the window, drinking, slowly turns and kind of pops the bottle out of his mouth. Uh, Captain Nikos kind of goes, Ah, not uh, content with the bed thing, are we? Well, not for the time being. I was actually hoping to do some trade. I figured this place could use a bit more weaponry. Very well. What do you have to offer? I will let you know that if you have anything magical in nature, we'd be happy to take it off your hands. Well, not sure about that, but armaments are better than nothing. I will pull from my pack. <laughs> are we ready? <laughs> <laughs> I pull from my pack a miner's pick, a scimitar, a whip, uh... <laughs> A hand ocarina, a and wait, wasn't the ocarina a gift? And yeah, we'll see about this. Just do some trade. <laughs> oh my god! Wow! <laughs> like no. flashbacking the ocarina of time, Link just smashing Sarah's <laughs> ocarina yeah. against the castle wall. <laughs> All right, fine. No ocarina. Fine, fine. No. No, ocarina. you. I'm just. I'm just making sure I remembered what it was. No, it's fine. It was. It was just a trade with Oleg. Uh. Yeah, you so got it from Oleg. Yeah, yeah. Oleg had it. It wasn't oh, a gift. Right. It, it wasn't a gift. It was a trade. I mean, uh, I. One of one. Else am I gonna do this fucking trading quest to get the uh, to get the Kitsun mask so I can give it to the Happy Mask salesman? Come on. You have oh, to take it to the. You have to take it to the master instrumentalist to get it graded first. Okay, anyway, uh, a <laughs> pickaxe, place... a whip, and a scimitar. All right, he takes a look at the scimitar first. He kind of looks at it, he goes, uh, 10 gold. Does that seem fair from my experience? That's, I mean, that, that seems ten... pretty okay. That seems pretty okay. That's 10 gold, bro. I mean, I'm, I'm asking in. Oh, as artisan. With, yeah, with, with his background. Usually... Like, that's, like, less than half of, like, the selling amount. But given your location, you're not sure how much that factors into it. Sure. Um, what kind of state is the scimitar in? Uh, this what the is the scimitar. Yeah, they're kind of crude. Okay, so you could strike well some. Made. You could strike some for it being used and not taken care of well. Plus yeah. the location, so yeah, that no. He's kind of just I, sort of like nod in Gaius's direction. Yeah, like acceptable. Okay, he gets up to his full height. He actually has to, like lean down in this room because it's like clearly meant for humans who are a little bit shorter. <laughs> he oh. walks over to one of the lock boxes. He goes, "Which fucking one is it? This one?" And he kind of begins to fidget with one of them, and then the door <laughs> opens and some coins fall. He goes, oh, "Son of a bitch." He kind of collects some coins off the ground, kind of counts them out, closes the door, relocks it, and walks over and hands you ten gold. Aye, this will do. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, let's see. He kind of looks at the whip. I mean, to be fair, any of us could make it. Fifty silver. Or, sorry, five silver, rather. Five silver. Five silver? <clears throat> I mean, yeah, yeah it, also, it also it also is... It also is crude, so yeah. I don't mind that. I don't yeah. mind that at all. All right, he takes that. Like, 
here's the thing. I'm not looking to like strike it rich. I'm just looking to offload. No, for sure. Uh, what I what I will tell you is part of why Iskan is doing this is because uh, we were told not to look weak, and his way of doing that is showing that he knows what he's doing. <laughs> you you are the numbers man. I am he, I am yeah. the strumpf. I am yeah. beef. You are mind. And uh, he kind of takes up the ocarina. Do you put the ocarina on the table? Uh, no, I put the miner's pick down. Oh, the miner's pick. That was what it was. I'm not really using it right now, so I feel like it's just weight. It is. It is bog standard. It's not like a. It's not like diamond a encrusted goblin well, craft. Well, it's, it's not. Yeah, it's not goblin craft. This is like a legit ass pick. Hewn from the dying star, fallen to earth. He kind of holds it and looks at it. Not bad. Two gold. I'm seems fair. Gold. Yeah, seems fair. Two gold is. is you, and you don't have the ocarina on the table. No, I do not. Well, I mean, I could sh I could show it to him. I I, I get, here, here's the thing. How about we narratively say it falls out of my like pack and hits the table? He kind of cocks his head and goes, "Is that a foot or something?" Oh yes. Um. I was. We were, uh, down south. You see, and one of the natives actually handed me a trade. <clears throat> I handed them a flute, a uh, wind instrument from my home for this uh for one of theirs. And I Can figured I it'd be a nice little keepsake. Oh, well, by all means, I hand it to him. Whew, he kind of blows into it. Oh, the kids would love this. How much do you want for this piece? I look over at the kids in question. Are they the like- The kids kind of look to each other and they come running in. They drop their sticks on the ground. <laughs> they go, we have money. And they pull up their two copper pieces they Aww. got from Milo. He goes, I don't know. I don't know if that's going to be enough. And he looks towards you, Gaius. Hmm. Well, you know, who am I to decide that a business transaction isn't worth it? I pass him a copper. <laughs> I want kids, give them your money. And you watch as the two little, little Kenku kids hand you a, their copper each. Yeah. And they both like kind of like, you know, like squabbling children, like they grab the flute, one blows into the other one, grabs it and blows into it. And they kind of chase after one another. It's like, no fair. I want a t another turn. And they kind of chase each other out. And Nikos kind of laughs and goes, ah, kids. It's unfortunate that circumstances that led them here. Circumstances that you don't know about. How do you know they're unfortunate? That's fair. It's just that this whole land is war-torn and and blighted. Yeah, it's not war-torn. It's just not doing anything. All right. He kind of closes up his little thing. Anything else I can be doing for you? Well, there is one thing. I placed the monster's hand on the table. What do you know of this creature? I don't know. It attacked us last night. Tom killed it, though. <laughs> Damn. I hate this fucking bird. Uh, <laughs> um, well, any... Who am I to deny a warrior uh, their kill and their trophy, but... It's not a warrior, it's a fucking turkey. <laughs> and I'm a goat. I didn't say that, but you do have some <laughs> goat-like features. I have some lion-like features. I'm not a lion, though. No, but it's fun narrative to say so. In any case, the only reason I was curious is if we happen to see one on the road, what's the best way to take it down? Well, something of note, before Tom came in, it slashed one of me boys and he got all seized up. Couldn't move, so whatever the fuck that was, you might want to watch out for that. Mm. Might be some kind of poison. Bad enough we had maggot worms that did that to an ally of ours. Or, uh maggot, uh, worms. uh, maggot birds, I should say. Sorry. Those things, those things are docile as fuck. How'd you piss them off? They attacked us first. Strange. Hmm. Keep that in mind, I guess, with my, uh, people moving around. Anyway. That's well. it for business. We're all, uh, squared away. Aye, right, we are. <laughs> Thank you. All right, good. You can hear, like, while this entire conversation is happening, just far away, you just hear, like, you ever give a child a kazoo? 
like a hyperactive yes. child a kazoo. Do you ever give a Zito a kazoo? Yeah, like well, that. Like a, like a duck whistle. <laughs> <laughs> Listen, I can make a song. Oh my <laughs> god. <laughs> We're getting copywritten. <laughs> And you get attacked by skeletons in that night. No, I'm just joking. <laughs> One of them has spaghetti. Wow. Ollie, you have a very good sleep. Thank you for staying at Casa de Nikos. I wish you all the best. I just bow my head to him and I head out. All right. Oh, I'm free of burden. Hot damn. No, there's still plenty of bird. Damn it. As you walk out the door, Tom is there. He's currently, Staring. like, sharpening his claws on a rock, just looking oh at you. Do, 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 do. From this angle, can we see, like, badass scars on him that, like, mark that's his adventure? That's the scariest part. He doesn't have a single mark have on scars? him. Does he have tattoos? <laughs> Not that you no can see under all those feathers. <laughs> Hello. Kill the man with this gobble. <laughs> You guys make I'm, your way back to the barracks? I'm, you know what? No, I'm going to do this before we go, because now Gaius is hearing all these rumors about this fucking weird-ass creature bird. Gaius is stupidly going to point at his eyes and point back at the bird. Don't challenge the turkey. You are speaking about Gaius Agni. I know. Who's currently sleeping in the same room as me? Uh, actually, here's a real question for you. Um, uh, you since you mentioned it in the room with the captain, are you going to give him the hand? No, I'm keeping it. Okay. You know, it's a funny souvenir. So you do like the eyes pointing towards your eyes and pointing at the turkey? Yeah, like the I'm looking, I'm watching you sort of shit. He like turns his head away and continues to sharpen his talons. Just gave me the cold shoulder. I hate him. I hate him. He cold turkey, as it were. He got me cold turkey, motherfucker. He My God. me, and I shall have him. I, I, I warn you, I'm no poultry fighter. <laughs> and as you all you make your way back to the barracks? Yes. All right, as you all make your way back to the barracks, you guys lay out your bedrolls on your various beds. Um, Very, very poorly made, by the way. Uh, rickety especially on that top bunk. But you guys manage to kind of, you know, set yourself up for the night. Uh, you don't have to keep a watch unless you want to. This is considered a kind of a secure location. It's up to you. But as you guys lay down to rest, making your way kind of to sleep, something about what the captain said does fill you with some relief, Milo, where he said people of the cloth making their way through. Mm -hmm. That could also include Lynn. Mm -hmm. But as you all sleep in this sort of weirdly sketchy bastion in the middle of the ever-present oppressive undead force of Eason Vale, that is where we're going to end the session tonight. And next session, you guys are heading into unknown territory. <laughs> oh, 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 hey. Bye, Austin. Bye, Austin. Bye, Austin. Bye, Austin. I'm in Austin. danger. I want ferret now. Yeah, I'm doing it. Calm down. <laughs> <laughs> Calm down, Gaijin! No! Ow! <laughs> that hurt. 27? Yep. Yeah, 27. The wife just walked in. We had a house gecko, and that was a big sucker, too. Ooh, nice. Oh, shit. It weirds me out that in America, there's just lizards hanging out. It freaks me yeah. the fuck out that you guys have giant mammoth moose. Yeah, and, but bears, like, and bears in your backyard. Yeah. Yeah. Like, 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 we sell your lizards you have as like pests as pets in my country. Like, no, oh no, there's pests. an alligator lizard. Pests. I guess I'll catch I it and put it outside. Geckos. Meanwhile, your fucking jack o' lantern is getting munched on by a fucking grizzly bear. <laughs> okay, that's that's that's. Too I, soon, I, okay? Monty, I literally made a Pokemon based off the fact that there are are black bears that steal Amazon packages. Amazing. <laughs> That it's true, actually, in California. Also, really Good session, quick, guys. Really quick, yeah. where's, where do we have the pin message for the <laughs> drive to dump the episode audio off on? It's in the uh, audio it's, channel. It's under audio submissions. Oh, okay. Thank Click you. pin message. It's the pin message there. Yeah. Number 27. Yeah. 27. Oh, you, guys, 
you guys do know where Banyers Band. Actually, Lynn pointed it out to you, and I think yeah. she mentioned to you as well that, hey, there is a chance I might be here instead. She literally mm -hmm. told us that, yeah. Right. So. I actually pulled up the notes from back then. Okay. Session, uh, session two, by the way, is when we met Zoe. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. It's been a hot minute. There's two. When, you, when she said good to see you again, I was like, wait a minute. Yeah. <laughs> Digs through notes. Oh, oh no. I, I knew who she was. I was just like, you stole I food. Didn't. You I stole forgot. Food. I will admit that I forgot until she said good to see you again. And I was like, oh, wait. That's yeah. right. Panther. Yeah. Fucking likes you guys. stealer. Yeah, thanks, Monty. Yes, yeah, good. Yes, yeah, good yeah. session. Yeah, it was really fun. Did it. Uh, I I was so ready for the pies. Like I was like, all right. <laughs> uh, if they approach I, the pie, this happens. If they don't approach the pies, this happens. Which was the worst outcome? I don't know. Good. <laughs> Monty, I, I would like. Uh, unfortunately, I would like to go to sleep. I got a lot of work to yeah, do. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Connor, Do can it. you take us away? Oh, yeah. Sure. The pie goes beware. Let's head on out. Uh, Gaijin Goomba, where can they find you and what are you up to? Twitch.tv slash Gaijin Goomba every Tuesday, Saturday, Sunday, 7 p.m. Eastern Central. Expect more Valkyria Chronicles and other weeb shit. That is my jam. Uh, also, the Usagi Yojimbo video the, the, of OG comics from 1984 to today. I thought I'd be done with it this weekend. Uh, it's going to be a 25 minute video rather than a 10, so it's going to take a while extra. So maybe midweek next week at the latest. Okay, that's right true. on. Uh, Mark Allen Jr., where can they find you and what are you up to? You can find me on Twitter.com at Mark Allen Jr., <laughs> here on Twitch at Aeon Pro Tech Gaming, and you can follow the adventures of my fat sleepy cat bunny on Instagram at Chonk for Life. Uh, I will have plenty of announcements in the realm of voiceover stuff in the coming week or so, uh, so check my Twitter for that. Also, uh, I have been working on music again, uh, which is exciting. Uh, so I've got some stuff that should be coming out pretty soon here. I have a number of unfinished projects that I am starting to finish. Hmm. Uh, so uh, if you're interested at all and curious about what kind of musical things I do and am up to, uh, Twitter is also the place to follow. Um, what? Why are you swinging mean, at me? I, did, I, did, I didn't mean to do that. I'm sorry. <laughs> I was trying to delete it. That was Tom. <laughs> they He's got the, the sword! Get the sword! <laughs> Um, yeah, that's it for me. <laughs> right on. Zeno, where can they find you, and what are you up to? Find me, uh, giving turkeys, uh, bladed weaponry over at twitch.tv slash Zeno, where, uh, I, uh, have a bunch of indies that I'm about to check out. Like, uh, Indeed not nuts. Okay, I'm sorry. Huh. How dare you? Uh, <laughs> Frame Makers literally just came out like maybe an hour ago, so I'm going to be probably showing that off. Uh, Pizza Tower is coming out soon. Like a bunch of indies I've been waiting for are actually slowly coming in, so I actually will be getting back to playing different indie games now. Uh, been making Fake Mod on the side. Those have been fun art streams just to talk shit with chat about that nonsense. Uh, more D&D &D homebrew is being made. Uh, it's getting a little bit more focus on my uh, Kofi or Kofi. How do you, how is it pronounced? I think it's, uh, I think it's supposed to be pronounced coffee, actually. Mm -hmm. Like, it's, it's not like some like. Beverage. Yeah, I, I know like the beverage, but I'm just like, is uh, it's the internet. So I'm like, there has to be some like weird shit that like GIF or GIF nonsense. No, I think it was just like, they wanted it to be like you're buying someone a cup of coffee so it's fair enough coffee. so on my coffee you can on my coffee you can find uh my homebrew <laughs> stuff there uh so uh there's that right on uh edward bosco where can they find you what are you up to uh you can find me at ed bosco va on both instagram and twitter I'm right here on twitch.tv slash edward bosco also, thank you to everybody who donated to uh, Artsy Heartsy Fartsy's yeah. uh, GoFundMe during this. So just as a, a final note before we sign off, he's at $75.75, so $7,575. We raised a couple hundred bucks just for that alone. So thank you guys. Really appreciate mm -hmm. it. Thank you to everybody who came by for the, the Halo night, and we really appreciate all of your support, especially for our friends. Yeah. Hell yeah. Thank you so much. Right on. Uh, Monty, where can they find you? What are you up to? 
Oh my goodness. You can find me at Monty Glue on Twitter. You can find me at twitch.tv forward slash Monty Glue. Tomorrow should be more Dungeon of the Mad Mage, and Monday will be more Mass Effect. I'll be uploading the most recent Mass Effect episode up to YouTube when I can. Um, so keep your eyes peeled for that. I it was it was girls it was a girls day it was it was girls night what was, what were we doing it was girls night right i don't know i'm talking to bosco That's but bosco he's not saying question. anything yeah. so he's being a jerk though it's fine come check it out i want to eat a lot of the aliens because they look like crabs stop That's it me. stop eating the aliens monty don't don't eat the don't eat the man of war looking one you certainly can't eat them without your nifty tub of space butter <laughs> Get your space bib <laughs> and your space fork and your space cracker. Let's go. Exactly. <laughs> and Connor, yeah, where you... can they find you and what are you up to? They can find me on Twitter, Twitch, and YouTube.com slash Distortion Devil. I stream Tuesdays, Fridays, Saturdays, and Sundays. Uh, playing some Deus Ex on, on Sundays, so be Ooh. sure to tune in for that. But this Sunday, however, I'm I'm thinking maybe I'm I'm gonna be doing uh, like a like a late birthday celebration stream because uh, uh, a couple weeks ago was my or last week it was my birthday, but uh, at the time of the stream it will have been a couple weeks ago, and we're we're celebrating it with uh, with a fondue dinner on the 22nd. So I figured I might a as well just... fondue dinner. That's awesome. Better believe it. No. Oh yeah. Uh, I, uh, life is easy when you're cheesy, and I am gonna get cheesed up, brother. I'm gonna make uh, cheese and lose it. He's the big cheese. Oh, yeah. Uh, but yes, um, that's pretty much all I got. Uh, yeah, this episode was brought to you in part. By Die Hard Dice. Die Hard Dice! Die Hard Dice! Die Hard Dice! Oh, that's right. Die Hard Dice is your one-stop shop for dice and dice accessories. And if you head on over to dieharddice.com, you can use the code UNEXPECTABLES. Save 10% on your order. And we've also got some <coughs> bits and subs to read off from <laughs> viewers like you. Such as Daniel Bonin. Thank you for the uh, 33 months. 33. Love what you guys do. Dippin' Bipples, thank you for the 17 God months damn it. in a row. God damn it. One episode without the Bipples, <laughs> please. <laughs> that sounds like a germ. And and another 100 bits from Dippin' Bipples. Hi, Monty. <laughs> He's got the Bipples. Hi, Dippin' Bipples. I hope, you're, I hope all your medical stuff is going good. Give him the Bipples. Give him the Bipples. Uh, River Rat, thank you for the 100 bits episode title, Pies in the Dark. Uh, or, with another 100 bits, uh, Soul Food Wars. That's an anime reference. It is. Tyrant Chaos, thank you for the 34 months. Hulksternator, thank you for the 21 months of Prime. The party goes back to the pie road. There are three pies, and all of a sudden they hear... Well, uh, hey there, folks, and uh, <laughs> welcome back, I guess. I guess. <laughs> yeah. uh, Crit Scratch, thank you for the 10 bits. Did someone trap Tiengo's soul in a turkey? Whoa. That would be a fitting fate. It's if we were in Martorallo and, and was like, this is Walker, the murderous axe speak we have walker at home walker at home is just tom <laughs> some people have clearly not met birds no birds are fucking terrifying birds can be raptors birds can either be really cool or straight up assholes <laughs> geese and pretty much any raptor are all capable of oh, chickens are capable of some heinous shit yo yeah they're dinosaurs Guys, I gotta go to bed soon. Yeah, yeah. yeah go. Guys. I mean, uh, guys. Guys. <laughs> okay, fine. God. <laughs> <laughs> you all uh, look the same. <laughs> uh, that's Kurt that's Scratch. Uh, thank you for the 10 bits. Gauze 21, thank you for the 7 bits. Uh, still have any. Mom, do you love me? Necrecta. No. <laughs> 
<laughs> John Correct. Grimm, thank you for the 400 bits. Things are keeping me focused during my stressful drive home during a blizzard with four inches of snow on the ground. Good Ooh, lord, stay, stay safe. safe. Yeah. yeah, drive safe. Be very careful as, on the road like as, that. As shit that happened in Buffalo during the holidays, stay safe, God. Yeah. Oh, God, don't even... Uh, Solar is Shadow, thank you for the 10 bits. Uh, I wish to see a Greckles cameo. It would be fun to see Gaijin talk to himself. Wait, what? And then he leaves. <laughs> yeah, that's there it. you go. <laughs> Why that's am I it. here? I don't like Thing. I like Thing. That's it. That's the interaction. <laughs> uh, Callum draws, thank you for the 20 bits. Birds and Ghost. Poultry Geist. Hey. Hey. Dice Ruler, thank you for the four bits. This episode has been hilarious because everyone except Monty was arguing about pie. <laughs> I was just leaning back, sipping tea, just listening to the conversation, <laughs> thanking that we do not have cameras. Mm -hmm. uh, Callum draws, thank you for the 25 bits. Tom is just the snail from Adventure Time. I don't, I, 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 don't don't know. I don't know the deep adventure time lore. I'm sorry. And thank you for the uh, 35 additional bits Callum draws. Crabs are just water spiders. Yes, fact. Yes, they Does are that arachnids. Mean spiders are just are just land crabs. Yes, also accurate. Mm, just fuzzier. Hey. Delicious. <laughs> land crustacean. And and also and also I'm gonna ruin cranberries for everyone. Uh, eating a cranberry is akin to maybe eating a body part of a spider because uh, they hunt they hunt bugs that forage on cranberries. Yeah. Much much like work. how a fig is most likely made of nothing but probably wasp. Spiders are cranberries. Mm, protein. Uh, protein yeah. Magic Ninjago. Thank you for the uh, 100 bits. Pie or die. Oh yeah, we need an episode uh, title. <laughs> I, pie or die actually sounds pretty fun <laughs> I like soul food soul food is pretty good that's also soul pretty, good. pretty yeah, good yeah soul food's yeah. good Zen Lita thank you for the 100 bits that's three panic grim tongues bow 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 and it's finally me, Callum draws thank you for the 25 bits party comes across two pies in the road one tells the truth, the other lies. <laughs> <laughs> Inside gonna, you are two pies. Inside? It's a shame it wasn't sausages, because it'd be like we could name the episode title Not Ordinary Sausage. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, unordinary Sausage. That's all we got. <laughs> all right. Who awesome. would we like to raid? Um, I'm trying to see if I have any friends Sarah's of mine. On. Yeah, yeah I got there. Viewers. I got Thero and another friend, but they've got 136 people. I got another friend of mine. He's got three viewers. Uh, but if you want to send him over to Thero, that's fine too, because there was like eight. What is your friend doing? Uh, Tiki the troll. He it's Tiki. Oh, it's... Tiki! Oh, oh Tiki. We, should, we should read. Yeah, we should read Tiki the troll. Playing Death's okay. Door. Oh, how appropriate! Can you post Tiki's full yes, name? Because I know one, his name is one moment, long. please. It's, it is how it's spelled, but it's got underscores in it. Yeah, that's what that always throws me off. Got that goat you posted, Jesus. Oh, yeah. Uh, also, I, I realized uh, I'm not going to say where the game comes from because it is very TOS not friendly. Okay. Well, no, no, no. It's I can say the game, but I'm going to just warn people, don't stream it. If anyone knows what the game... Fear and Hunger is. The second one came out like two weeks ago. I would stream it, but I would be kicked off of Twitch so fast. All right, what is our raid message for Tiki? You hungry? Pie or die. You hung. Pie or die. That's Let's so do it. good. Pie or die. All right, get out of here, everybody. See Goodbye. you next week. Have a good later. Pie. Oh, good pie.